everyone good morning how do we do are we all feeling bonita i forgot to do something very tiny but i could fix that yeah who was first today corvus on the youtube side congratulations i have potato and of course mind. ginger slayer of all first to rise let me quickly start yesterday's stream raiders lazarus how do you do my homie I show up. Painterly Luna, hello. Gardens Gnome, hello. Corvus on this side. Apollos and Corvus. And Ginger, hello. Good day. How do you do? And hello, Faja. Are we all good? I don't know why she's just not responding. Turbo, hello. Friend, where you been? How are you? Right. We need to do a little bit of work before we do the real bit of work today. We need to just top up the primer. But then we are all good. Now, I've realized something. The polyurethane primer I've been using actually takes 12 hours to cure. So I am just going to use a standard uh, black paint on this one. I'm doing okay, Corvus. I'm doing okay. Um, it, it's... Fucking hell, I've got a lot to do. And I've got no energy to do it. Just none. Uh, so I'm doing my best. That's what we're going to do. Um, I spent last night doing video editing. I did a bit this morning. Lucy Quiz and Twisted Luther, thank you very much. I tried to fix the cat fountain. That needs a little bit more uh, work. I think I just need to get some, like, aquarium tubing or uh, something like that. Uh, but hey, diddly ho. Working from home. Bless you. Hope you do feel better soon, friend. 
Um, so yeah, um, I need to do like a lot of small jobs, but I need to get this brand work done today. I need to get that video out soon. I've just had to send an email regarding my video. Uh, quite simply put, um, there's a massive rules problem in Rumble Slam, and I don't want to educate people wrong. So I've just asked for clarification from the design team. So I do have a direct line to them. Uh, so I have sent them a message. So I'm hoping to get some word back today so I can educate you all properly. Good use. All fun and games here in the Moan Zone. There we go. We're going to be doing dire squirrels today. This is part of our working partnership with the wonderful Dragon Trapper Lodge. Absolutely bloody brilliant they are. I've supported them for the longest time and I encourage you all to do the same. Their Patreon is insane value. Absolutely insane. So the reason I'm doing these by hand is we've had a storm rolling through Manchester. I don't know if anybody else has been hit by it. No, sounds lovely. Outside must be nice. Tell me how it feels. Um, I, I have started to prepare myself to go outside again. Uh, for anybody new to the channel, it's not that I'm like an agoraphobe or anything like that. Uh, it, it's just that I, I work from home. I do everything from home. Uh, so I, I don't really go out unless it's to the farm. So... Uh, I've started preparing for my holiday in June. Uh, I've ordered a couple of shirts and bits and bobs. Found some lovely chino shorts that have flamingos sewn into them. But it's not that I'm a people phobe. It, it's really weird. Like, I'm obviously a natural performer and I get on, like, really well. Uh, but I don't have to wear pants at the moment. It's quite nice, really. Clothes shopping is fucking nightmarish for me, Apollos. I could be anywhere between a 2XL and a 5XL in a t-shirt. Um, if I get a button shirt, like, just to give me room in the shoulder, because I'm a very, like, shoulder-heavy man, and the rest kind of dangles from there, it, it's bloody nightmarish. Oh God, Thaddeus! Dare I ask? I wasn't even around last night. I I genuinely clocked out of life. Oh my God! I just order it all online now, Apollos. Obviously, because I don't go out. Um, I really like the slop. Uh, the slop. I like the shop Slaters. Uh, first of all, the staff will bend over backwards to help you there. They are bloody lovely. Uh, they're very good for the larger gentleman, but they also have, like, tall boy t-shirts. So I don't know about you, but I'm a bit of a slut. So when I lift up my t-shirt, it rises a little bit, and then I look like I'm going all Britney, bitch. Hey, Mad, hey. So getting a longer body t-shirt is very nice for me. Clearly some nerd with the idea of murder squirrels. Oh, mate, 15 minutes is nothing in the world of streaming. How are you, friend? Murder squirrels, plural. We're going to be doing quite a few of them today. These are dire squirrels from Dragon Trapper Lodge. Out of all the creatures I could have worked on, this is what I decide. Exactly. Probably people with their nuts exposed, to be fair. How's Esme today? Need to show you guys these models releases. I'll do that in all but a moment because I need to go to their webpage anyway. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch an extra model in. Because we do have our Rumble Slime Squirrel to do as well. So if I could take another Rumble Slime model off and do all the squirrels. 
then we are Gucci. Yeah, I, I just really tired of clothes shopping. Like I spent a little bit too much money, but I did justify it by kind of explaining where my budget was to myself. I don't remember. Like Sarah picks me up quite a few T-shirts, like geek these. Uh, they they're good, but they don't last very long, being like quirky and stuff. So I kind of justified it by the fact I've not bought myself new clothes in two years. So I bought new jeans, some Daisy Dukes. Hey, you're an on. How you doing? Um, I have no idea what you mean. No idea what you mean, Luna. Right? New jeans, new Daisy Dukes, chino shorts, an array of shirts. Because I don't know if you've ever noticed this, right? And this is genuinely something I have to tell Sarah. If a time traveler came into my life and analyzed my existence online and in person, they would figure out no idea about what day it is because I wear the same two shirts in rotations. Like genuinely, every time you've seen me, is it not just the same two shirts? Ooh, very fly. Right, let me bring up my library. And I'm going to show you these lovely new models. And Esme is going to have to cover their eyes. Hang on, there we go. Uh, so this is part one of the Moon Enclave. So these are the Wolfie Warriors. Oh, no, at least what was a cat made out? Yeah. The Moon Spirit. Which is bloody gorgeous. Moonborn, which just mean big wolves. Uh, moon hunters. With bows. Death spirit, which looks remarkable. Oh, very nice. Uh, love these shields. These shields and spear combos. Jesus, they had me. The moon trickster spirit, which I really feel should have been like a hyena or something. I don't know. Like I kind of feel like they've just done wolf like three times, but you know, maybe that's on me. This I love so much. I cannot explain how much this means to me in my D&D homebrew world. This is everything. I am so desperate to do this. Problem is, it's towards the end of a couple of my players' story, so I'm not printing it off yet. Try to be good. Uh, but yeah, all the aspects of the beast. Do kind of wish there was more of a tiger involved. And then some sexy bases. And they're more boss characters. So that's all pretty sweet. And then this is that other release. This is Journey Through the Dialand. So at the tier that I'm normally supporting on, why is my chair not rolling? Sorry. I'm trying to be more careful about my back recently. I keep noticing I'm leaning like 45 degrees to one side. Um... Dire Turtles, which I would love to do, but I've kind of thought, do my squirrels. Dire Stag, which is glorious. King of Beasts, again, glorious. Seen some colour schemes bounced about for this. A very cool uh, white saber tooth colours come through. Dire Horses. Dire Elves. Again, I do love these. These are very abyssal. Mounted Dire Elves. And these are today's squirrels, guys. So I hope you love them as much as I do. Behold them. 
These are murder babies. And then you've got the Shaman of the Beasts with Tears. Grimpaw, the Special Wolf. Uh, Lyklaw, or Licklaw, the Master Hunter. Jarnax the Barbarian. I love the classic look. The Dire Elf Chief. Dire Bear. Mighty. I have no idea what the logic and reasoning is behind this creature's existence. But he looks friend-shaped, so I printed him. So they're the releases, guys. So I need to get the Dire Squirrels. So hopefully you like those. Just need to very quickly post in one of my discords. Right. Oh, lordy. Right, that's the back clicked. Very quickly do a tweet hard. I'm a little bit behind today, guys. I do apologise. Uh, my PC just was not behaving. And I think I know why. Um, I basically left my PC on overnight to render some video stuffs. I had to do a big reboot to get it in gear. Oh, Mike, you boob. we go come on sorry about this guys go lovely jobs Oh, mate, it, I don't know what it was. It was just every single program was like, nah, you can't do that, bruv. Nah, nah, mate, can't be having that. Nah, no, not for you. Right. How do we paint a red-brown squirrel? Let's go with... I really like these, but I don't think that's dark enough for a red squirrel. So probably going to leave those for dry brush layers. Um, let's go with our old faithful mahogany. <laughs> I'm the bitch witch. <laughs> How you doing? And here I am, just collecting squirrels. Corvus, thank you very much for gifting a YouTube membership, you bloody lovely bugger. Thank you very kindly. Guys, don't forget I am giving away an army or a D&D &D set. 
or a Dungeons and Laser start set to a lovely bugger who is a member by the end of the month or gifted a membership. I have got a log of who is gifted who've done anything else. Ath, welcome to the stream. How do you do? Hopefully I've said that right. We are just going to do some base coats on our squirrels. I really like red squirrels, guys. As much as I'm used to the grey squirrels of the UK, I really like red squirrels. Uh, there's a place in, I think it's near Blackpool. Bombay? I can't remember. Uh, but there's a reserve for red squirrels. And I used to go there quite a lot in my kind of... Uh, well, I'd have been about eight all the way through to about 14, I think. You just turn up and they give you a bag of feed and you just go around feeding red squirrels. It was really, really happy. It's a place I'd like to take Rebecca, to be honest. Might have to have a word with Sarah about that. We are supposed to be seeing red pandas this year. But I can't seem to pin anyone down to book a day. Yeah, the greys absolutely wiped out the population. This is why they had to put them in a reserve. They just got absolutely decimated. Kind of sad, really. I, I can't allow that, Thaddeus. You are completely right, but... I, once I allow that phrase, I can't bring it back. Like, there's some things I can get by with a barter. That's not one of them. Like, you are you are completely right. They are they were an immigrated species and a completely invasive one. It's just really unfortunate that the terminology is being kind of bastardized by horrible people. No. At least you got nicer quality ones. I've just ordered a new microphone for my phone. It's quite a cheap Amazon model, but it's got amazing reviews. Just means I can record from my mobile a little bit better when I'm doing Rumble Slam videos. Well, I do want to start doing gameplay videos for things like the Batman miniatures game as well. Um, I don't just want to be limited to just doing Rumble Slam. Rumble Slam's the easiest uh, because it's a very quick, easy game. But I want to do Talisman, but I won't be doing like full Talisman playthroughs. I'll be like a 30 hour video. Uh, but I do want to see like, hey, can, can an 11 year old play Talisman? Hey. What does a eleven-year-old playing D and D look like? Um, because I think it would be very chaotic, and I kind of like the idea of recording it. This is one of the problems that we've got, though, Corvus. And I don't know whether you've seen it like this. But a lot of the games we were very good at playing don't translate to this new generation. Like, do you realise how many kids don't understand games like Snakes and Ladders now? Like, back when I worked in a nursery, not even a nursery, like a junior school, um, the amount of kids who've never played Snakes and Ladders. They all play Fortnite. Like... But they don't play snakes and ladders, and they didn't know the fundamentals of it. And it was just that that's so baffling to me. I know my godson wants to play DD. He's only five though, bless him. But that boy is ready. 
Um, I, I remember the most jarring generational kind of uh, wisdom or kind of a priori knowledge. Um, it was when I bought an orange juice. This is, this is such a simple story. It's going to make your eyes roll, guys. Uh, this kid was... I think she was 12 or coming up to 12. Uh, it was my boss's daughter. And I bought an orange juice. Now, this is a very traditional milkman's orange juice. You know the ones with the little foil lid? As 100% covers. There's so many good campaigns for juniors. Um, how do you open? How, how, how do you open this? What? An 11 year old near 12 was stumped at the idea of opening a glass bottle of orange juice. Oh my god, tell me about it, Mendez. It's, it's a four. There's nothing like it, is there? Like, when it's doorstep cold as well. Like, oh. Oh my god, it goes down so well. She didn't know how to open it. I'd say there's more of an art to it than that, Lazarus. Uh, but. I don't know about you, but the, the standard way you open it was being a foil. You put the meat of your thumb on it and you bend it inwards. Then it just kind of slides off. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I know it sounds like such a small thing to be baffled by. But I thought that was like instinct. Like, I thought all human beings were, like, inherently built with that technology understanding inside them. I, I couldn't imagine it being a learned process. And then they were like, no, I've never seen one of these. It's like, what? You've never seen Milkman milk or, like, a, a glass bottle with a foil lid? And they're like, no, they don't exist in my life. And it's like, I don't like this planet anymore. This isn't the planet I understand. And either it's me getting old and not understanding that, you know, we've moved on. Or there is a severe gap between the generations that I was not ready for. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand that, like, the world is turning. But... It goes to show, like, I think the other part of it that really baffled me, and I get this with Rebecca as well at times, and it might be because of the way I was brought up, but when I was faced with an obstacle, I didn't ask somebody how to do it. I just tried. If I failed, I'd then ask. But nobody does that anymore. I think people are now so afraid of consequence that they, they stop being curious they stop being confident and it's really weird like i am a very confident man you might have noticed but I, I i don't know like i don't see true creativity in terms of problem solving anymore are we lazy because of google are we lazy because of youtube and tiktok tutorials but yeah. I don't I don't get it. But if you showed me a foil lid and were like, I need to get inside, your first thought is pull it or stab it. Surely. Just on an evolutionary level. No, just something really felt off about that day. Yeah. If, if you want to know how strong the caveman instincts are in me, right? Um, I'll never forget it. It was Sarah's... Birthday after 29th. And we went out to a kind of one of these like adventure places. And I use the term loosely. Um, 
you do axe throwing, rifle shooting, archery, that kind of thing. And I show up and one of my friend's partners went, you got your shoes on wrong. And I looked down and I went, they're on my feet. Turns out the tongs of the shoes were like pushed so down and in, I was basically wearing them completely wrong. But fundamentally, my entire brain just went, they're on my feet. Like, I've not walked in on my hands, have I? So maybe I just have exceptional caveman brain. Sister uh, asked in the family chat things like, uh, there you go. Ash thinks she could have had an answer to if she just typed a bit to Google. Yeah, understand. YouTube tutorials are wonderful for us whose parents never had situation. Yeah. Electrical work. Oh my God. Like, th there's a few uh, channels that are like particularly cool. One of the ones I really like, just the ethos of it. Hey, Black Fox, how you feeling there? You feeling any better? Hopefully, the Willow pictures sent you good vibes. Um, It's like teaching men how to do basic tasks. Now, some of them are branded as like, hey, I'll be your dad. I'll show you how to do this job. Some of them are like, hey, I don't know if any other men told you this. Um, Tying a tie. Have you ever noticed how naturally tying a tie comes to females? Like Sarah, who I'm pretty sure has never worn a suit and tie or a shirt and tie, just grabbed my tie and tied it. Yeah, I went to a school where for 12 years I wore a tie and I still bugger it up. Yeah. But these females have it hard coded. I don't know and I don't understand. Tell me, how did you learn, ladies? Is it in your DNA? Oh, bless. No, no, some of you did, but not all of you. I don't know. I find wrapping a cord around my neck quite natural nowadays. But it just, just, just came to him. I'm pretty sure Rebecca could do it. She's never worn one. It was things like this that baffled my brain during high school. Oh, yeah, Jesus. What was the other one? Um... Oh, there was another one as well that just completely baffles me. Uh, Corvus, one of the dad's YouTubers that I checked out, right? This is genuinely true. I had no idea how to do a child's hair, right? I wake up, I roll over, my hair is done for the day. That's it. My hair is naturally curly and bouncy. It just falls into shape. Beard, not so much, but my hair does. And then I was being confronted with things like, how do I brush? Like, my daughter's hair. That doesn't hurt her. Like, that kind of thing. Lucky coach, welcome in. How do you do? Welcome to Delightful Murder Squirrels and where to find them. Vitae, good day. How do you do? I imagine it being like a massive... Like, Doug Dimmerdale, Dimmerdome hat. All this. Murder rodents in the attic immediately takes me back to Scrubs with Dr. Kelso and the bats in his loft where he sends his dog Baxter up. Anybody remember that scene? Oh, congratulations on the sex. Well done, Apollos. Yeah, um, I learnt this on Dad YouTube, where the guy literally just put a hoover towards the back of their head, sucks up all the hair down the hoover, and then just slides a bobble off the hose of the hoover, and it's done. 
Mangineering. Fantastic. So apparently that's the thing. Please, please do, feel free to ask. We have an open door policy here. That's the cat bed. Why have I clicked on that window? Oh, God. They're organised. Now she's really in a mood with me at the moment. That's how you've been practising on your beard, though, mate. You've got a mighty beard. Wizardly, if I even may say. Uh, now I've paid the git. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, coach, how can I help? Get a plateau with your dice making with any creativity, really. It's not coming you like you used to. Uh, right, stop doing it. If you're doing it without loving it, stop doing it. Uh, what I do every time I get done with... But that's not quit. So before you go, he just told me to quit and leave. Bear with me. Um... Stop doing it. Do something adjacent to it. Uh, so, for example, the best palette cleanser for me doing minis is to paint terrain. Terrain is like crack to the brain. It's a less demanding skill set. <laughs> oh, Baron. How you do, friend? Did you see that post in Discord attacked you in? Um... Do something skills adjacent, uh, because if you are, for example, a resin caster, I know that's quite limited when you go sidestepping, because resin is a very all or nothing creativity hobby. Um, but get back into playing your games, your role play games. Um, I d again, I don't have experience for being a dice maker, um, but. It's being probably more honest than you want me to be. I do this for 60 hours a week. And some days I sit here with a big smile on my face, just like fucking models. Oh, do you know how much my lower back hurts? So do something adjacent is always a good way for me to kind of get my brain back in gear. Uh, I've got a backlog of models to build if I can't paint. I've got terrain to do if I can't be bothered doing minis. That's the first thing for me. Um, how do I improve my techniques? Uh, I, I do like the 100-hour rule. If you do something for 100 hours, you should be better at it. Um, I do 100 hours every two weeks. Um, the, the other thing I like to do uh, regarding kind of improving myself is you can spend time looking at people who inspire you uh, that will work for about three seconds. People don't realize this, but chemically in the brain, being inspired is like the smallest blip on the radar. Spite will carry you through fucking war. Find somebody you hate with a burning passion. Somebody who annoys you. The best ones are people who are not using their full skill set. People who you are like, no, you're really talented, but you're just reining it in and it's fucking annoying. You could be so much better than that. Look at them and then go, I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to do better. And that will take you far further than internal or even external motivation. Just find something you really, really, a person mostly, fucking annoys you just by existing. Somebody who breathes and they annoy you. My favourite one is... Like, quite literally, finding somebody who has cheated. So the amount of streamers who've used bots and stuff like that inspires me to go, no, I'm going to go the long way around. I'm going to do it better. People who have kind of worked the shaft of other people and got trickle-down effects. I'm sorry, mine's the only shaft I'm stimulating. And it's things like that. So, yeah. dice pay your rent now fuck yeah dude i love that i love that muchly what if you like being average feel free to be average esme feel free you being average shouldn't affect me 
But on the other hand, if I see somebody who I know is a 10 out of 10 painter and I see them every day handing in threes, it's like, no, you, you deserve better. Look what you could do. Then I go out and do it. And I'm like, look, this is what you should be doing. I don't obviously attack them that way, but mentally in my head, that's what I have to be. Like, I assume Friday is pre-order, Baron. Um, so, yeah, I, I get really quite annoyed the other thing I, I refer to as well is the yugi sekto kaiba relationship the vegeta goku relationship it's a very big trope in storytelling you've got the person who works their ass to the bone and the person who was born better or has just got a leg up i have always been the seto kaiba i have always been the vegeta and I see somebody who just does it so naturally and with no effort and no grind. They just get to where they need to be. And I want to go and attack their ankles and just go, no, no, I'm going to take over you. I'm going to pull you down. I'm not going to, when I say pull them down, I'm not going to rip them down and tear them a new one and say, you're a bad creator or anything like that. That's not my mentality, outward speaking. But I want to go, no, no, I'm leapfrogging you. I'm going to overtake you. I am going to do better than you. You want to pull in an average viewership of 60? Mine will be 65. Like. No, thank you very much. Uh, you're more of a Goku. Dice making it came very naturally to you. Okay. How about your marketing? Did marketing come very naturally to you? Did content creation come naturally to you? Thank you. Because if it didn't, that's an area you can move into. That's adjacent. You need to up and sell dice. Do you feel your marketing game is on point? Content, there you go. Content creation. You're on a mobile phone, you can do content creation. starts with a, with a youtube short a tiktok and instagram reel that's all it takes start there in 2024 um story-based content is the marketing that's the top marketing technique seos aren't doing what they used to do none of that's working the way it should what you need to be doing is you need to be out there telling a story. So if you made a TikTok that was just along the lines of my dad said this was a stupid hobby, but here I am paying my rent and just showing off my dice. Do you know how many people that would resonate with? So that might be more of an aggressive answer than you than you look at. Mate, you 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 go on Twitter, you go on TikTok. Dear God, in this chat alone. But unfortunately, Vitai, like while you obviously rise above it, that's where to that's where content creation goes. Like that is the story of content creation now. It's not about good content, it's about good storytelling. The majority of videos towards the end of 2023 were based on people talking over another video. So there would be a green screen or there'd be a post and it would be somebody talking to camera regarding a post that's behind them physically. Like that was the top trend of marketing and brand reach last year. So, yeah. Exactly. Start with short, 60 seconds or less. Uh, for me, uh, my next couple of videos that I've been planning for a while, but bigger projects just keep getting in the way, is 
just showing a couple of cheaty ways to make DM's life easier. You don't need to tell the full story. Like, literally, I've just written you a short immediately. You've got some... You literally record yourself pulling some dice, looking at them, cut to the next frame. You've tidied them up a bit. They're a lot more presentable. The next frame, you paint the numbers on. The next frame, the, it's fully done. You only need about 20 seconds, if that. And you literally only narrate it with, they told me I couldn't pay my bills with my hobby, but I think this is pretty cool. Now I'm paying my rent by making dice. It's the best. 20 seconds. Not even that. 15 you could do it in. That's literally what the algorithm wants you to do. On near enough every platform, that that's the algorithm. You're telling a story in 20 seconds without actually sharing too much. You've got an advertisement for your product. And everybody likes a sparkly, shiny thing. That's it. That, that is literally what it is now. And th th it's so this is the thing. I'm telling you what to do. Why have I not done it? <laughs> like, because I know it's the game. I know it's how it's played. The reason I've not done it is because my goals right now is to try and balance my life a little bit. Um, I've spent too many nights editing a video I know will not do well on YouTube. But it's important to me it gets out there because it's me and my daughter and my partner and it it's just us having fun. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, let's go with you. Uh, but I am going to be making a kind of content U-turn this week. Uh, I, I'm just really trying to balance some stuff because of all the brand work I did recently, I'm out of whack. Um, so the plan is get this Rumble Sign video out ASAP. No worries, Baron. Um, get this Rumble Sign video out ASAP. If you're not on my YouTube already, we are very close to full YouTube partnership. We just need 148 more YouTube subscribers, guys. So uh, you'd be so kind if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more, uh, more me and what I do. Go there. So we're going to get the Rumble Sign video out. Then I've got a couple of shorts, including a paint tutorial. Uh, thank you very much, you lo lovely dog of you. Uh, we're going to do a couple of shorts, which are going to be uh, a part of a change of strategy because we need subscribers and not watch hours uh, in the future. My watch hours will come from stream. And my new subs, I'm going to try and get in with shorts. Um, so we're going to do a couple of helpful shorts. One of them is showing off a couple of products I think everybody needs to have for D&D. Corvers. You bloody lovely bean, you. Thank you for gifting that. You bloody lovely bean, you. And Coach, thank you very much for that follow. Uh, this is Bitey. I, I, I don't really know what he is, but he looks like a little tiny forest troll. So I thought I'd get him done. Dry that brush off. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a couple of shots, just a week of shots. Then I'm going to be doing my Dungeons and Lasers Undercity video. And then I'm going to be doing... I want to do a video that's completely different. Uh, it's basically going to be a review of a TV show I watched. But from the eyes of a Dungeon Master. And how that is almost the perfect storytelling for a D&D adventure. And people need to watch this to understand like, just how good it is. Do you know what? Let's have a look, Coach, because it does actually have rules. I've just not looked. Uh, that's Laws and Adventures. The 
The Blue Woods Barrow, is it? On Earth last month, but we've not got this month yet. But I hate the fact that we're in April. It doesn't feel like we should be in April. I'm going to be 31 in two weeks. I'm not ready. Nice. <laughs> Don't make me look like a baby. I'm old. Hey, my lower back is basically gone. So, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So happy squirrel. This is the Rumble Slam squirrel. Back to the murder squirrels. We are doing very lazy painting on these guys. They're just squirrels. They don't need to be competition entry. Um, yeah, we do have a dice porn section. Exclamation point Discord will take you in there. We do a show and tell about 60% of the way through the stream. I'm just going to need to hear you say that it's not a cult. Mm. Definitely not a cult. But yes, to the dice pawn with you. one I love the fact that he's doing that leg thing that cats do like just the big leggy very nice as we get to show and tell we can bring them up on screen buddy Look at you! That's how you get on with Lord of the Rings. I can't wait. I need to get my Haradrim army on the table, as may. So it's nice that we both got a game we play. I say play. I've not played in 10 plus years. Uh, but I do have a Moria army, a Haradrim army, and a Galadrim army. Jesus. 
Bloody hell, mate. Fast and Furious, the airbrush. So how many people you got playing Lord of the Rings, that's mate? Um, okay. I might have some uh, things in my box to send down to you. I do like honeycomb. Uh, I'm from Manchester, England, so I love anything to do with bees. It's our uh, big logo. I do need to get my new bee on the wall, actually. Ends the meat. Because you are tempting me with Lord of the Rings. I'm not in these circles, so I don't get invited to these things, but Lord of the Rings, though. I used to do a lot of Lord of the Rings tournaments back in the day. Ooh. Ooh, I may be able to do it. I need to double check because it's my birthday weekend. I think I've got a spare Minas Tirith army uh, from the new starter set that I could be working on. I sold the Mordor, except Gothmog, because I love that model too much and I really wanted to paint it. You know, you can tell because it's been left in the box for a year. Yo, Zach, how you do? Oh, look, what have I got behind me that's actually playable for Herodrim? One moment. Well, I used to know how to play. The rules haven't... This is the thing about Lord of the Rings that's bloody brilliant. The core rules have never changed. They've only added stuff and minus a few small things. Right, what have I got? Uh, 12 Herodrim warriors and a captain. Suladan on horse. Uh, the Ring Wraith. Is it the Betrayer? I think it's the Betrayer. Uh, nine African Guards, six Watchers, Akana, and a Muma Kill. So, my Serpent Horde is pretty effective. So, is there a great big black fox shaped puddle in the bed, like a just a outline? Because that's how I get. I, I'm one with the bed. Me and Sarah, uh, when she stays at mine, we talk about the slab, which is my mattress, because it's ridiculously hard. I need it for my back. Uh, and then she goes, ah, yes, the great Mike Trench. There is a trench where you can see I sleep. You can physically see the shape of Mike. Just as a great big dent in the mattress. That's my. It looks like one of these like Acme productions where I've fallen out and landed. Does a moomut count as a unit? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Mate, I need it. I, my hip dislocates in my sleep all the time. So, you know, kind of need it. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Not at all. Yeah. 
never forget, uh, Lazarus. I was dating a, a woman in a wheelchair for a while. Like, she was in it before I met her. I didn't put her there. And I picked her up on a night out by calling her Hot Wheels. I was pretty drunk, but it worked. Uh, anyway, no matter where we went, the number one song on the radio was that Ed Sheeran one. Your legs don't work like they used to before. And I, I just couldn't stop laughing every single fucking time. Because it was that like month on the radio where it was on every single day. Every single day. And I was just like, why is it following a... Uh, she ate my cheesecake, Lazarus. It's, it's her. She ate my cheesecake. Hopefully you all remember the story so I don't have to repeat it and look like an asshole. Hello, Opera, how you do? Oh, Ed Sheeran's just the missing Weasley brother. I, I don't like him at all. Of course. Did you put your Smarties in and some milk and just pass it off as a bowl of cereal? Because, you know, that is a thing you can do. Right. I don't remember if you know the story, Asme, so I'm just going to assume you don't, right? Date this woman. Uh, I'll, I'll skip to the ending. She's a toxic piece of shit, and I never want to see her again in my entire life. No, the prequel. Oh, sorry, somebody's at my letterbox. How are you, Pentley? Oh my god, that's Celestial Song. Jack likes song. big squirrels, and he cannot lie. Those <laughs> other haters can't deny his love of Diglett squirrels. Hi. How are you doing? Are you well? I do love the big squirrels, though. But you can drop the D word. Um. Yeah. Um. Pokemon Game could fuck off. That celestial song was so fucking annoying. It was not, unfortunately. How's Ravens today? Basically, long story short, right, thing you need to be aware, this woman is a scouser. Run, be free. Um, she told me, uh, oh, would you do us a favour? Uh, I really fancy some cheesecake. Would you nip out and get us some cheesecake? Would you nip out and get us some cheesecake? So, I go, yeah, no problem, babe. I'll go and get us some cheesecake. So, I think it was like the winteriest bit of winter. I toddle down my three-story apartment. Bear in mind, she was in a wheelchair. She was only limited mobility, not completely immobile. Um, yeah, I know. Whopper, just bear with me. Right. Um, so I go out, I get this cheesecake, two slices from the co-op, Raven's is a spoiler, um, and I put it in the fridge and I go, right, uh, just go have a shower, then we'll put a movie on, and then uh, we'll settle down for the night. Now, bear in mind, it was about 3am in the morning, because we were students at the time, and uh, put it in the fridge, jumped in the shower, did all my showery bits, got out the shower, she's got a face full of cheesecake, Think nothing of it because there's, it's it's a pack with two two slices of cheesecake in this. I go to the fridge to look for my half. There is no my half. She ate my cheesecake. My cheesecake. She goes, 
I asked you to go out and get us some cheesecake. Yes. Two slices. Two people. Two cheesecakes. Right. But I asked you to go and get me some cheesecake. No. You said us. Us is a two-part phrase. Us is what you use when you try and make an argument. I should be more on your side and committed to the relationship. But now us magically doesn't include me and doesn't include my fucking cheesecake. So anyway, um, long story short, I you paid for a 70... Me. How much cheesecake will it take to convince Mike into wearing a cursed axolotl costume on stream? Weirdly not a lot. In a galaxy not so far away. A conundrum as peculiar as any faced by the heroes of old Arises. In an epic quest involving cheesecake and a cursed axolotl costume, <laughs> the daring streamer Mike Mons faces a decision of galactic importance. How much cheesecake, you ask? As much as it takes to tip the scales of destiny, embarking on a journey filled with laughter, absurdity, and perhaps a slight dairy intolerance. Will dairy they intolerance? How to dare you? Temptation? Only time and their stomach will tell. No, thank you. I don't want to be an axolotl. Um, so, yeah, I paid for a 70... Bear in mind, I was a student at the time. I had fuck all money as it was, right? Um, I paid £75 to get that woman out of my flat. I, I just... I, I, was, I saw so much red. She ate my raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake that I got out in the middle of winter and did a walk to go and buy, specifically... Right? So yeah! Fuck the bitch! And a week later, she came back to collect her stuff, because I wouldn't. I, I didn't have time for her to collect that. I went, just get out of my house. Just get out of my house. Just get out. So a week later, she came back to pick up her stuff, and I sat there and ate a family cheesecake in front of her while she packed. Uh, so yeah, that's the story. I'm not pay at all. I'm not pay. I'm vengeance. I'm the knight. I'm cheesecake man. I couldn't deal with it, mate. Good, Apollos. Good. The wicked bitch of the West. Okay, didn't know about Cheesecake Man. I'm quite a comic fan and I've never heard of Cheesecake Man. Corvus and Tax, thank you very much. I'm doing all right, Frightful. It's my fifth end of days event this year. I know Cream Pie Woman, but I'm not allowed to talk about her movies on the stream. No, the sun kind of avoids me. It does. It's like, not going to lie, Vita, I was pretty mobile after eating that much cheesecake out of spite. Uh, so, just to go back to the story of... Hey, Jack, how you doing? Uh, my partner now was told that story seven years ago when uh, we were becoming semi-official, then very official. Uh, she bought me a cheesecake and sat down and we ate it together after she very clearly communicated this is our cheesecake in celebration of our uh, meeting and birthday and all this shit. So, my woman lured me in with promises of cheesecake. So... You see, I'm a big fan of Animal Vegetable Mineral Man. My god. That's a power I need. Yes, Animal Vegetable Mineral Man. Ah, oh, pork pie. Fuck yeah. Oh, I love a good pork pie. You need to come to my pie guy.
this is the thing, right? When that woman was hungry, she became spider bitch. She could have climbed fucking Everest to get to that cheesecake. There was no stopping her. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm more Scotch egg. Toxic Crusader? That's what they call me on Twitch. That's a, quite a window. It's like when they deliver me something going, it'll arrive in time. They will. Oh, Esme, you need to come to my food market. We have a Scotch egg wizard. In fact, I need to show you my baked goods thing. Give me a moment. I'll show you. We have a pastry guy. And he's magnificent. I love him. The kind of man you bring home to meet your mother. No, I need to. It's been uh Because uh, they're not made with love. They're made with rage and nitrogen. Honestly, being on the third floor, lucky coach, I should have just made a Hot Wheels play set to get the fuck out of my house. Use the fire escape, whatever it takes. One moment, I need to show you my pastry. Do you know what? The warning signs were there, right? She was genuinely one of the most batshit crazy feminists I've ever gotten near. I learned a lot that day. This is my baked goods guy. They they do these. They're like big sausage rolls, but not sausage all the time. Uh, that's one of their pork pies. They also have toppings. Um. So this is their Christmas selection. And these are all kind of like sausage roll style or uh, pie things. That are oh. Cheshire Bakehouse. Yep. But yeah, they're all like big sausage roll style. They do a really good Moroccan chicken, tandoori chicken, minted lamb. Uh, they do a, uh, his Apollos, I like to make sure my lovers know exactly who I am. Um, but yeah, they do, uh, pork pies topped with chutneys and jams and various little, like, bacon bits and stuff. It's very good. Very, very good. Um, I like to keep messages from all my lovers, Apollos. I want them to know they're grateful. Uh, grateful. I'm not going to go into it too, too much detail because it always enlightens uh, Twitch to an ugly place. But uh, 
2023 feminism and 2000 and prior feminism wildly different things um unfortunately there's only so many people who can claim feminism and put up with uh bullshit claims the, the problem is you you've got good feminism and bad feminism and the average is what you would say is feminism uh the problem is the scale has skewed now to the sheer mass of bad feminism uh that the whole movement in my opinion is becoming a joke uh while there is obviously some merit and some very good needs for it the the big problem is uh people like throwing the word i'm a feminist around just to try and win an argument rather than actually providing uh feminist views and ideals that fit it they try and put their views and ideals into it if that makes sense yeah fuck them uh right what am i doing i'm finding a thing So this is their St. Patrick's Day. They've got a Guinness chutney and a hot gravy. Tanjori chicken sagaloo. They've got Greek oils as well. And they, they do all this. Like, these are just meaty parcels. And they're made of dreams. They're made of dreams. They're just solid meat. I shit you not, they weigh like 400 grams each. Like, if you put one of these in a sock and beat somebody with it, it wouldn't leave bruises, but it would take teeth. Like, haggis, minced pork bacon with neeps and netties, or tetties. Uh, red onion chutney pork scratching, smoked cheddar. Apple and cranberry chutney smoked cheddar, crispy onions on the top of a pork pie. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just made of dreams. Greek lamb and bonfire night special. Triple pork tomato chili jam. Like, Jesus. The problem is so many people are willing to call each other ists and phobes rather than making an actual point. <laughs> Out of line, how you do? They're only once a month, though. How are you, Ads? I've not done a very good job on the ears on these. I may need to go back and do a little extra. But yeah, Silver, are you well? Sorry, we keep making valid points. I'm not asked how you are. Treat yourself. It's quite weird because you get people like Jimmy Carr who I find pretty funny on some days. Other days they don't quite hit it as well. Frankie Boyle's career has gone downhill in my opinion because all he's doing is going buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. He's, he's not actually being funny anymore. He's just saying things for a response, like a naughty child. Um, then you've got people like Jason Manford, who I, I feel are just very naturally funny. And I, I listen because they're quite fun. 100% true. Yeah, I definitely need to go back and sort out the ears on this.
Uh, I saw him live uh, probably about six months ago. And I'll be honest with you, it was more sad than anything. Now, I know things like Mock the Week are heavily scripted and set up, but so is a stand-up tour. He's not funny without other people to bounce off. Uh, that and the fact that she's just a deeply unlikable human being. Like a lot of female comics, they they do they do not have it as easy as men in in many ways uh because they're not taken seriously for one but there are some really really good female comics who have legit good standing uh like i really like ali wong i think ali wong is really funny um joan rivers and wanda sykes are fucking titans of comedy not just female comedy comedy in general like, absolutely remarkable talents. And, you know, it, it shows that not only is it very possible, it's very... Uh, well, oh my god, you hate James Corden, we're going to get on so well. I fucking hate that guy. The thing is, we, we he wasn't that bad when we sent him to you. He just got worse. It's like putting a potted plant outside. You know, it just grows a bit quicker and a bit more the way it's supposed to be. Apologies. I just refer to it basically just as an export, not thinking about location. I, I think the final straw for him was lesbian vampire killers. I think it was that was the absolute final straw. Oh, oh my God, he's just a dick. He, he's unbelievably just a dick. Yeah, Rifle, I agree with you on that. It's like um, him, him and Ellen DeGeneres are in the same kind of problematic circle for me. Right. Do they need one more dry brush? Try one more. But I think it was those being vampire killers that made us kick him out of our country. No matter how bad the film was, the priest was damn funny. Just going to do tails and face and maybe a little chest on this. I kind of like the idea that um, if anybody's played Monster Hunter... You've got Devil Pickle, Devil Joe. When he gets more angry, enraged, all that, he blood pumps and quite literally boils and they turn redder. I'd quite like that to be the kind of vision behind these. That They're quite mooted red squirrels, but when they're angry, they, uh, they level up. They just get more red. But yeah, unanimously, fuck James Corden. Cannot stand anything about him anymore. Um, yeah. I, I think that's a pretty decent list. And then there's Brendan Fraser. We, we love them.
I love how people saw James Corden in Cats and started calling it the butthole cut just because he was in it. Sue Perkins. Oh my god, I love Sue Perkins. They're a very clever comedian. Which one's she? Thanks, Ads. I love how open Matt Mercer is with things like body image and depression. Like I, I always respect him for that. Um, also, being a, a cardigan advocate. You do it, Frightful. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <sighs> Back. Stretch. Oy, 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 oy. Excuse me. My entire body is just screaming out for a massage and a nap. Which season of Taskmaster was it? Bucky Conroy, man. What a champ. I do feel they did him a bit dirty, though, in the CW crossover when he finally played live-action Batman. And what was it to get pushed over by bloody Ruby Rose? Take Kingdom Come Batman and... Ruby Rose, then. Whatever happened to Ruby Rose? They went quiet. I know they got injured on the set of uh, Batwoman. They did as well, didn't they? I think I've just watched that one. I'll have to look her up, figure out which one she is. I'll be honest with you, I put um, Taskmaster on just before bed. It was like good sleeping noise. That might be why I don't remember it so well. I'm currently binging my way through Chicago MD while I'm doing my emails and whatnot. I don't want this to be a little mossy boy. Like a bog troll. Oh my god, that's her. Yes. I don't know why Boss Baby got any recognition. Like, um... I think it was, I can't remember which year it was. I, I want to say like 2016. Uh, but the Star Trek movie, with all the prosthetics and really cool, like, I know we don't often speak highly or at all highly of the Star Trek movies, the Abrams ones. Uh, but the costume, alien design, prosthetics, all of that were amazing. Lost out to best makeup to Suicide Squad. Because of Harley Quinn and Joker's tattoos. Eat a bag of dicks. 
Uh, I'm not sure I have Frightful. Munchie, how you do, friend? It would really. Sorry, sneezing fit. Ugh. The fact that Suicide Squad, the 2016 one, got any recommendations for anything is beyond me. Um, Chris Pratt, right. <sighs> My favourite role of his... Star-Lord, understandable. I think he was fine as Star-Lord. I think other people could have done the job, right? Fine. But I really liked him in the Lego movie. It made sense, the Lego movie, with his voice. Yeah, but that was before he was really Chris Pratt. Like, that was when he was fun. Then you put Chris Pratt in Jurassic Park, and I think, fuck off. In the Mario movie, unanimously we all said, fuck off. However, that movie was so good that it kind of overshadowed it. Um, yeah. Yeah, lucky, hitting the nail on the head again. I, I, I think it was a case of Chris Pat got swept up in a really good movie, but therefore was passable, not Chris Pratt did well. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. My daughter loved it. I loved it. Yeah. But a film about retro gaming will be. Hundred percent. It is like the tide going out and just dragging it with him. If you want to see something painful, what was the one where they're in space and they're all sleeping in pods? And he was like, "I choose this woman to kill him." Passengers, that was it. Thank you. What a dull film that was. Jesus. Oh, no. I love Patrick Warburton. What did he do to get on, on your tits? Okay, you're not wrong, but on the other hand, there are some people... Ooh, package, package, package. That is my holiday clothes. Where was I? So, how do I defend Patrick Warburton? Um, Kronk, amazing. Lemony Snicket, amazing. Family Kai, really solid. 
I think the problem with Patrick Warburton is he's on the good side of the Aquafina problem. When you see Aquafina, you know she's playing Aquafina in a role she's been forced to play Aquafina. I don't have that problem with Patrick Warburton. Rob Schneider is a carrot. Yeah. It is actually Rob Schneider and... Um, yeah. The thing is, you don't pay a voice actor to do voices. You pay a voice actor to do a voice. Having flexibility is great, but you're, you're not hiring them to do five voices normally. Like Tara Strong, Jennifer Hale, massive exceptions. They can do so much. Matt Mercer, so much. Um, Troy Baker, all these. Yeah, they, they are really good voice actors. You pay to do a lot of stuff. But if you're going to pay Patrick Warburton, Ashley Johnston did. If you're going to pay what Patrick Warburton, you're paying for Patrick Warburton. It's like you pay Mark Hamill. Most people have this disillusion. He was only the Joker. Uh, Fire Lord Ozai? <laughs> That's a role people sleep on him for. The new Chucky, yeah. But people go, Mark Hamill's the Joker or Luke. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a fair distinction. I love Mr. Trickster, by the way. I, I love his Swamp Thing as well. Pretty sure he played Swamp Thing in Justice League action. He does. Uh, where'd I put that paint? There. But this is the thing. Like, Mark Hamill, you, you would have never... Like, if you saw him as Luke... You wouldn't go, oh yeah, he's going to have a great voice acting career. Let's be honest, he was a mediocre actor. Did you get that print out of my gift? Hey Raph, how you doing? Did you get that print out of my gift? Try to think which. No, I can't remember what I did it on. I think I did. Oh, that. Sorry, I'm thinking 3D printing. No, because I've got one more to come, Silver, before I send them all to print. Sorry. But the second somebody says print to me, I immediately think 3D printing. I then have to remind myself. Uh, Printers are actual paper things as well. Um, I, I have got a list. I have to send a minimum of 10 things to make it financially viable. So I've got a couple of yours. I've got a beholder print. I've got one more red straw baby one to get done. I've got a uh, Mike Moans and Warboss print to get done. I've got to redo some of my postcards as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll be honest with you. My budget's quite thin at the moment. That's one of the other reasons. Uh, because I've invested in updating my stream for the birthday. Uh, also, I've not really made any money this month. Uh, so, is that? Uh, oh, I'm also adding Rumble Slam cards as well. So me and uh, Slim Jim need to pull our finger out. Corbett's and no mana man, thank you very much. So we ran an event charity uh, supporting basically Halloween Comic Fest. And one of the ideas we had, we had the budget for it, but we couldn't get uh, Robert England's time. Um, he was supposed to be reading bedtime stories, completely non-scary children's bedtime stories, but in a scary way for charity. True story.
Okay, there's some chat I've missed because I left the room. I'm just going to do this bit of wood and then I'm going to catch up on it all completely. Sorry, my brain is uh, not braining very well. I don't think I even put enough paint on the palette. Now I want to rewatch Rules of Engagement. Fernandez, good day. Are you well? There's a few kind of cartoon classics that have missed me by. Number one, Brave Little Toaster. Never really watched it. Uh, I completely missed out on the Steven Universe hype. Uh, Amazing World of Gumball and... What's the other one? With Uncle Stan. Was it that one? I don't remember it. Gravity Falls, completely. I, I tried that, didn't love it. Yeah, didn't love it. it. I really struggled to get anywhere with it. Owl House, I do want to try. It's on the list. You know who's a very underappreciated actor? Jim Rash. He was Harley Quinn's Riddler, the Dean in Community. He was, I think it was Hermes in Crapopolis. Brave Little Toast, yeah, I missed it completely. Thank you very much, Thir and I. How do you do? Got lots to do on them. Absent, how you do? Oh, Billy West, what champ. One of my favourite voice actors, and this is purely for his Reinhardt, Darren DePaul. Um, his enthusiasm for doing it, like Overwatch is dead and buried, right? We all know that. But if you've ever seen a video of him, kind of at fan meets or uh, behind the scenes, even his D&D. &D. Uh, by the way, his D&D &D in Critical Role Season 1 just changed how I feel about D&D. &D. One man playing it. So this is a Dire Squirrel from Dragon Trapper Lodge. Uh, I'm one of their uh, paint ambassadors, and I'm a very big fan. I was actually on the tribes for... I think it was definitely two, but it could have been three years uh, non-stop before I became a member of their uh, painting ambassadors. I have given them hundreds and hundreds of pounds, and I've printed off so many of their projects long before I became entwined professionally. Uh, and I bloody love their work. He's great, isn't he, Raph? Oh, Jim Curry Cummings, yeah. Oh, God, Sarah be so mad I didn't mention Jim Cummings before now. Um, but yeah, Darren DePaul, he played a gnome uh, in Critical Role Season 1. And the way they introduced him, he had so much flavour immediately. Absent, how you doing, homie? Are you all well? Um, undersung voice actor who keeps popping up everywhere. Well, I'll say voice actor. He's an actor who... He's not even an actor, really. He just happens to be in a lot of voicing things. Mick Foley. Have you ever actually seen how many things he just appears in? Entirely batshit, but in the best way. He just pops up in weird places. 
Yeah, the wrestler, Mick Foley. Do you know, science has yet to understand how Mick Foley has birthed such a fit daughter. Very true. Noelle Foley. You can look her up. Look her up. The science, it doesn't add up. Sometimes he does. Uh, Jack, the mate, the, like the one that everybody knows, is he plays the boulder in Avatar. Yeah. Which thing am I looking for, Lazarus? Yeah, that's very true. She hasn't got a bat here. Um, Raph, it's silly money. Uh, it's insane. Airbender Avatar. Oh, fuck, how terrible. What did you buy? I have no idea where she is. Right, I'll show you some options to Old World, right? Let me just quickly get these up on stream. Because people have spent too much fucking money on that. Harlot Globetrotter. <laughs> what do you call it? Adult worker that goes around the world. Harlot Globetrotter. <laughs> okay, that's pretty damn fucking good. Okay, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of that. Not gonna lie. You got me. Oh, I was watching him this morning. Bloody lovely. Uh, what am I looking for? I think it's on Max Mini, isn't it? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Brad. You, Need to uh, chase up with you about a doodly thing. Uh, I would appreciate if you have time this week. Darius, how you do? Thank you very much, friend. Uh, Titan Forge? What to say it's Titan Forge. A little look here. Then there's one page rules. Thank you, buddy. Right. Let me let me just show you a few options. We'll start off with the obvious one. So, Raph, heads up. Pay attention. They are fucking gorgeous, aren't they? So, if you want a... I can't believe they're not Bretonian army. There's the Halfling Knight army, which is... Uh, not got any real images. Okay. Uh, but they're halflings, versions of Bretonians. And they're hilarious. Where is the Pegasus? Here you go. They've got little Pegasus. I love them. They're great. Uh, the whole army is very whimsical. They're very fun. And I, I think they are fantastic models. Uh... They, they are fantastic. Uh, now, the thing is, if you look at the price of the army, Mounted Lord, two Maidens, 20 Squires, 20 Archers, 20 Halberds, 20 Spears, 10 Mounted Squires, 10 Knights, 10 mounted, 20 Mounted Knights, 3 Pegasus, a Trebuchet, Veteran Knights, and Pilgrims, 125. That army, 160 miniatures, 125. What, uh, three Pegasus costs 36 quid for Old World. 
see if there's a small that's the big box set as well uh where's the other halfling there's the undead halfling army uh the shield maiden army this one no that's not the halfling knights so for 125 quid to get 160 miniatures like that's absolutely bonkers uh let me just go back to the full range halfling knights there you go just because the pictures on that are absolutely terrible because apparently they don't want you to buy things uh this is their adventuring night and look at the beards on them i love the desert raiders i love the vampire ones they've got these kind of little porkly faces i think they're fantastic they're really fun now obviously you won't be able to play these in a gw shop they will be against it but any other gaming center more than happy to have it uh these are the halfling knights look at them they're adorable all the best lucky thanks for coming on by friend no you can't that's very true there, there are there, there is definitely a couple of them that like could be my unofficial children uh the squires yeah very true so there's those the maidens which I think are great. Uh, Ogre Knight, Wizard on Pegasus. He did. I love the Pegasus. I'll be buying myself some soon. They are in my D&D world. Um, yes, but these are made specifically for, I can't believe they're not Warhammer Old World. So yeah, the whole army, 125. I'll put a link to that in the chat. Uh, just for the benefit of this as well, I'll show you a couple of the other armies that are insane value. The giants. You get three giants that are like 13 to 14 inches tall. Then you get six of the normal giants for 130. Uh, I will be going halves on this with our wonderful Apollos. The vampire halfling army. Uh, which they really want you to see all of it, don't they? There's the count. There you go. All the best. These are fantastic. I do love these. They do look like Grandpa Monster. That's the uh, Necromantic Halfling. The Grand Mummy Army. This is, I can't believe they're not Tomb Kings. I can't show you the big box because I don't have pictures for it. So I'm going to show you the size smaller. Uh, but they're all pretty damn decent. I do like this. I really like the Sphinx style catapult. Like the Screaming Skull catapult is nice, but I, I do prefer it being full Sphinxy. Uh, and then if you're more into 40k, they do have a guard army as well. I believe Mark did all the pictures for. Then I've got the baby one. No. Why would you not add more pictures? this basically it's imperial guard with halflings what are they called halflings in space so there's no real pictures okay Nice. Well, oh, fuck, you're not going to like the new releases, I promise you. 
I love the uh, Sentinel ships. Yeah, I love them. I think they're really good. Mark did a really good job on them. So that's just one option. You've then got the Titanforge Protonians. Sorry, I can't believe they're not Protonians. Hi, hello, how do you do? I could have sworn they did Protonians. How do you do? Are you well? How was the stream? They definitely did knights. I just don't know where they are. That's Empire. But th just to give you an example of their Empire, like they did really good stuff. But yeah, these are more further apart. Look at the pug. How was the stream, Ice? What were you up to today? But yeah, I'm pretty sure they do have a Bretonian army, but I'm not seeing it. They're the Sigmas, Wood Elves, Chaos Dwarves, This? Oh, this is one variation of them. We do have dwarves. We will find them. Oh, don't worry. I've got one page rules open here, buddy. Building a map for a session for a mini heist. Very nice. Hopefully, people do heists better than uh, they did in Keys of the Golden Vault, because that box is terrible. Look at this jester. Pegasus Knight. I really do like these. These are gorgeous. They are. They are. Let's quickly do a proper shout out for Ice. They're a bloody wonderful content creator, guys. Put their heart and soul into this. They really do. Guys, if you like your D&D, you want to learn more about D&D, how it's played, watch live playthroughs and all the prep. If you're a dungeon master wanting to know a little bit more, do check them out. They are bloody lovely. Please go spend some time with them. Uh, where's the dwarves? The metal beards. Here you go. Look at these. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. Oh, I'm a very big fan. Oh, yeah. These are all things that uh, 3D printers love to work on. I've actually done a few of these. Uh, so there's those. Then you've got one page rules. They are really good. Uh, this is Human Empire. I believe it is the Empire. But I do think they're flexible enough that you can use bits of them as uh, Bretonians. Now, these are very Empire, aren't they? Yeah, they are Empire AF. Let me try the other ones. Ratman, Ratman, Human Empire. What are they called? I'll show you their Tomb Kings, because I've got them. They're bloody lovely. No worries at all. These are the Tomb Kings. These were one of my favourite armies I ever did, Tomb Kings, and then they shit on them.
Look at that. Gorgeous. They're really good. I've printed out a couple of them. They are really solid. So there you go, guys. A few uh, proxies for your favorite war games. Stop giving money to GW when they are abusing you so badly. I can't stress that enough. Did not. But yeah, stop, just stop giving money to GW. I actually annoyed somebody so much they left the stream yesterday. Uh, like, it was quite funny. They were like, how do you feel about this? It's like that people are fucking idiots. But GW, you're being bastards. Stop giving them money. But they really like their stuff. But they keep being bastards because you reward them for it. But one day they'll learn if I just keep throwing money at them. Fuck off. If I love them enough, they'll listen to me and stop breaking my little heart. Well, look at this one. Uh, where legends stand. Oh, you did show me these. I didn't see the campaign though, but you showed me these before. Let that load up. Where's the gallery of bases? Edges. Where's all the? Where's all the pictures? Where are all the pictures, buddy? I can see the pledges, but I can't see the actual tribes. Tribes campaign. Oh, yeah. Ah, fail cast. Yep. People really do love their unhealthy relationship with GW. But Daddy GW loves me. He only hurts me because he has to stay in their Lamborghinis. It's fine, I'm eating ramen for eight weeks. I have a new space marine and it's got a bolter that has a vibration setting. It's all good. I just went out and bought Beastman Army to play Age of Sigmar. I'm so excited to play. Oh. Hey, Misfit, how you doing? Too early. Not enough snooze alarm in the world today. I feel you on that one. I hit snooze three times today. Then Willow went. Nah, mate. Come on. You need to get out of bed, lad. Then yelled at me for about 45 minutes to get out of bed.
which I needed. I needed. She had to get me out. Well, I'm hoping we're going to turn that round now because I don't need to be talking about GW no more. They throw an empty cat bowl at you. Uh, but yeah, um, old fart, did you see the new uh, Rumble Slam releases I shared in the Discord? There's a couple of those are for the pieces of D8 faction. But yeah, Miss Fit, I do hope your uh, your day is going to be a little bit more uh, bouncy back. We are doing dire squirrels at the moment, which are uh, an interesting experience. Gonna use a little Death Reaper. Do you know what? You you are actually completely right. The only reason we uh started talking about it was we were helping Raph avoid buying the new brats uh but they are uh yeah they, they are getting too much limelight dw released a new blood bowl team the naf uh, said that they're not recognizing the team for at least 12 months as it may upset them what what good morning flamingo how do you do how do you release something to shake up the meta and go, but we're going to shake it up 15 months or 12 months from now? What? So we're going to pick out the eyes. And the kind of chitin plate. Oh, they're not. Oh, of course, it's an independent league, isn't it? I should know that. Do we have many people blood bowling here? I think I'm bringing my Blood Bowl down with me to Griffcon if I could get at least a game. I know uh I've spoken to Raven and Gus about playing. I caught a stream of it uh, on Twitter, live streaming it from Mexico. Bloody lovely. Did anybody else watch the Eclipse? It's one of those things that sounds really cool on paper, but then you look and you're like, yeah, okay. Don't get me wrong. Like, me checking out a stream on Twitter was a lot easier than kind of uh, frosting up some glass and going and looking at it outside. Well, Manchester's just clouds. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse. That's a core memory for British people. Can 
card my ability to upsell Jaffa cakes. But I'm gonna have a Cadbury's cream egg. True. We don't know what the sky is. Hey, that's pretty awesome, Flamingo. Oh. Yeah, most most Manchester people wouldn't believe in the sun. We just don't see it enough. Oh, Ryslin, how you doing? Manchild Nexio, thank you very much. I've got a mouthful of cream egg. I'm sorry. After the Jaffers, it was a short journey. Good to hear, homie. Need to very quickly jiggle my windows around. Hello, Blades. How you do? See if I've got an answer to my mail. Not yeah. Oh, we do have a new campaign update though. Right, let's have a look at that. Yeah, it took me a few attempts today. Right. Um you say there's a new update. Where is my new update? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a goblin watchtower. Uh, that was part of the campaign I backed. So, uh, Caster played with the most amazing terrains. Uh, they released this dice tower as part of the campaign we did for their exterior buildings. I just think it's neat. A little goblin village themed dice tower. How cool is that? No. While we're here, let's show Old Far uh, the new Rumble Slam releases. So this is last night. It's this guy here. True courage is about knowing not when to wear pants, but being brave enough to never wear them. It's this guy here. The brand new release, pictured here with one of the uh, Mighty Madcaps Goblins, Maggie, Mushkles, and the Knob Goblins. I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's a pretty good miniature. I don't know what he does in game yet, but give me a bearded man and a poncho and no pants, and I go weak at the knees. You've also got Lady Luck, which is a figurehead of a ship that I think is just okay. And then you've got the Lunchador, uh, which is just this uh, chubby little man eating tacos with innards of salad all over him. 
And then you've got this anglerfish, who I think is very, very friend-shaped, and I love him. So he will go very well with my partner's crew, so we'll be rocking him. I think what I'm going to order, guys, is just these three. I, I don't know if I need this. I might order it just to say I've got the full set, but uh, I'm, I, I'm not inspired by this. Um at all unless it's got particularly amazing rules i'm not inspired however these carnivales uh these kind of monstrosities i am a fan of don't worry Oh, yeah, there you go. New Rumble Slam releases. We do love monstrosities. Always a fan of Fleshcraft. Not yet, Tronza, not yet. How are you, friend? Overdid that. Oh, actually, it landed on the bit. That's fine. It landed on the side panel. Yeah, will do. It would be really good. I'm very surprised they haven't done Nacho Libre yet, to be honest. I would love them to do a Cassandro El Exotico mini. They were one of the first out and proud luchadors. And they were a complete game changer for Lucha Libre wrestling. Uh, there's a very good documentary on them. I would love them to do a tribute to them. Yeah, uh, I've got him on the table. I can't remember his actual name. I just keep calling him Buster Nut. This one. He's very effective in-game. Yeah. I don't know what they actually call him. I just keep calling him Buster Nut. Is it professional? Is it mature? No, but I don't claim to be either of these things. Yeah. They need to come for me for naming ideas. Like, when you watch my video, the amount of different names I come up with for models, I don't think I actually use their official names. Piñata? Pinyonyama, or whatever they call it. He's just Pinyata. Right? Obvious. Very simple derivative. Peso Completo will always be a chonky boy. And congratulations on cracking that chestnut. Thank you, friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, my mighty moaning Power Rangers. I also need to remember to do the eyes.
That is the new alert for Monely Fan subscribers uh, on YouTube. And the reason it's new is because I didn't realize I could set up member alerts. So the second I found out I could, I added it. You got to remember, a few of you signed up on the day I added them to my channel. I wasn't ready. Right, question. Do we paint the spines as bone? Or do we paint them as this chitin? I'm on the fence. It's all going to be done at the end of the month. Bone. Corvus, thank you very much. Rubbing it in Pestis' face. No! That's so cat! The rave cat lives! I'm going to ask you a very super serious question. Do we need an SO Willow cat emote? Paying for it. <laughs> no, it goes to a great artist. So I could do black and then highlight just the edges with ivory to make it look like a sharp black spike. If we were to do black writing. We still have bone for the teeth, obviously. Message red. This is, but it's kind of hot. It gets cold when we rise. It hot, is it? Pray for an early sign. Time lives in patience and the light we dance together all night. Look, Pim, I know it's her job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. Why? He's Every obviously day. in his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? Every day.
Is my life that big a cry for help? This person doesn't know what the hell he's doing. All right, fair. I'm going to do one with the testing of the spikes. Go on. Cry. It's that as well. Cry, you little bitch. Tears. Mate, have you seen how hard it is to keep up with Tangia? They had like 50 a day. You know, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying every everybody else is gonna. Wow. The bullying, it's starting. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, I feel like I'm being hit by that. Hi, I'm Mike Bones, full-time streamer, punchbag. Jesus, I don't like picking out all these. Making me a little squeaky bum. Yeah, that makes sense. One, two. It's so hard um, to say it, but doing, let's face it, these feelings we bowling cannot be ignored. If you scold that you say something you wed with, well, love is something that's best when quiet. Avoid a fight and be polite. Just shut up. Wait a second. That ain't white. Yeah. I hate that so much. If we drown, he's got to start with a step. So go on out there and give it your best. I'm taking a chance, because I like you a lot. So I'll give it a shot. Give it all that I got. Wa -dee -da -dee -da. Wa -dee -da -dee -dee. Suddenly you call my name, and I lose my brain, and I float up to the moon. Wa -dee -da -dee -dee. Wa -dee -da -dee -dee. I hate it so much. That is the one voice I want to launch into the sun. Right, I'm just going to focus on this guy for the moment. 
I want to see if uh, my hunch about bringing these up will work. So we're going to go into Cold Cops to do some of the main body. Mate, I put the prices up on certain ones. I was undercharging relative to everyone else anyway. But I don't want to be that guy who, like, gate locks everything. So I put them up, like, 25 bits here and there, right? I'd rather focus on narwhals, personally. I do. There was actually a, a line. I think it was uh, Blue Mountain State, the movie, where it was Thad who's like the really dumb jock, and it's like you're messing with my dinosaur unicorn, and he's got a pet rhino. That kills me. That one kills me. How you doing, James? Welcome in. Has anybody seen Blue Mountain State? It is really good. Oh, let me see if I can find the clip with the rhino. It's it's too funny. Nope. I don't know if I can find the rhino. It's the guy who plays Reacher. Jesus, it's amazing to see how much he's grown up. Right, right. I'm just going to pause the music and I have to explain this, right? This is not the clip I wanted to show you. However, this gives you an idea what you're dealing with as a show. The football team all come together and they take a bunch of drugs to all help them bond, right? The next day they go to practice and they're all coming down. Meanwhile, another guy's tried to pick up on a girl who is a double amputee and has no arms. So in their drunken stupor, he builds her a set of arms. These two stories kind of overlap at this point. And this is what happens. This is the guy who plays Reacher screaming. And it's not uncommon. He screams a lot. John Cena. Hey, Lula! Who has my pocket pussy? I have stuck my dick and sometimes my balls in that stupid thing before every game since I was 10. I can't play with that! That wasn't quite what I was hoping to show, but I'll take it. Blue Mountain State is genuinely really good. Heavy T, how'd you do? Like, it is absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure who wrote the series, to be honest. Uh, but... Oh my god. This sis asked me, why does Mike find finding rhinos so difficult and are they baby dinosaurs? Ah, oh, the curious case of Mike's struggle with locating rhinos can be attributed to their impeccable ability to blend into their surroundings despite their size. These Rival Freeze, welcome on in! Often remind us of the dinosaurs of yore, though they are not directly related. Rhinos with their prehistoric appearance. Heavy T, how are you, my friend? Towering presence invoke the How are we, Raiders? Welcome to the Moan Zone. The gap between our Kettles, hello. And that how do you do? Dinosaurs in our imaginations. Are you the well? A 
Primal Raid. So Primal's a friend of all our Lego friends. How are we doing, homies? Welcome to the Moan Zone. Today we are prepping dire squirrels for D&D. Nothing like trying to murder a high-level party with overgrown armoured squirrels. Skittles, are you well? Oh, they're one of yours, are they? So who's punching? Is it you or them? No, I joke. How was the stream, guys? What were you up to? Tell me all your secrets. Yes, welcome in. Murder Squirrels is on the menu today. Blame Kittles. I blame Kittles for all my problems. All of them. Every single one. Metroid. Nice. Which one? A person of culture. Just vanilla, mate, take it. Take it. Vanilla Metroid is uh, pretty solid. But hey, diddly ho. So yes, Raiders, welcome in. My name is The Mike Moans. Uh, what I do is, is I mostly just kind of doss about, like show off videos of Blue Mountain State when I should be painting squirrels. You know, that kind of thing. These models today are from Dragon Trap Lodge, who are 3D print files with an amazing Patreon service I have been a big fan of for the longest time. Uh, and today, we're just just doing danger squirrels. Like, little uh, a little murder squirrel here and there didn't hurt anybody, but, you know, 15 of them all attacking you at once. That might be a problem. Thank you very much. Let me do you a proper shot. Let me not be rude. There you go. Yeah, I basically bought them for all the trolls in the chat. They're monsters. Have you got any monsters, Primal? Guys, if you want to see some Metro and you want to make friends with our friends, there you go. Where's my button? There it is. There you go. I need to check you out sometime. I always love a bit of Metro, me. They are... Flail Tales of Squirrels. You got noms? I want noms. Hi. Miss Bricker and Bricker, how do you do? You got Meatball strong enough. Ah. Oh. Oh. I want Meatball strong enough. I've tempted everyone with my pie today. This is my revenge, isn't it? This is my comeuppance. So we've got five of these bad boys on the table. I'm just going to get this one done a little bit more. So I'm testing a colour scheme. We have got them all in various stages of done. I think the fur's basically done. Uh, these are my... Technically brand work, but I do want them. Basically, what happens is with this brand I do. Um, I am a painting ambassador for Dragon Trapper Lodge. Uh, what we've got is we get two big monthly releases of different factions, and I've got to do a few models. Now, I only actually have to do two, but I've already got five on the table because I'm such a big fan of them. In Badland, it always snows cocaine. Indeed. And then we've also got this little troll guy I want to work on as well. We've done the bases of his fur. There's just a little troll. Then we've got another squirrel I've called Bust the Nut, who's for my Rumble Slam game, who likes to throw dice. He is. Uh, and uh, these will all be on my D&D table. So if anybody's not seen my D&D table before, do let me know. I'll show you a little video of what it's like behind the scenes. Just want these to look barbed and sharp. A little teeny weeny boy.
go. Maybe a little more from this side. What do you think, guys? Do you like the uh, the tail end? A little more, actually. Is this kind of the harmony between the white and the black you guys had in mind? I'll need to do another round on the chitin, but really just to test the barbs. In that land, there's a rhino. That is totally not a unicorn, but we're going to pass it off as a unicorn. You see, Pathfinder is one of those things that's kind of missed me by. Uh, and I think just part of the problem is I'm just so stuck into my D&D &D 5e game that I've never really broadened my horizons. But all I hear is, like, reasons I should be. You have a flight. Hopefully you have a lovely time, wherever you are. Go enjoy yourself, Kettle. Thank you so much for hooking us up. I do hope you have a lovely trip. Well, we've got people asking for games in the Discord, bud. So if you go to the uh, tabletop and roleplay section of ours, maybe you could find an online game. I know Slim Jim just put out a post. I tried hosting D&D, &D and I got fobbed off, basically. But, you know, that was around Christmas. Maybe it was the time of year. to do raiders in a moment want to get this uh, plate picked out right that's probably going to be my final color scheme as far as the bulk's done how do people feel about this ah oh, fuck murder hobos they ruin games oh no Lulo, welcome to the YouTube side. Love it. Heavy tea, full on party mode. Fuck yeah. Do Raiders? Corvus, I, I'm currently a player in one. That schedule is a bit wibbly wobbly at the moment. Uh, I want to get back to my D&D game, which is what I DM, which is supposed to be on the 21st. Um, what else? Great to be Kara, Deku, and Mindworm, thank you very much. Don't call it the comeback. Well, ah, uh, good luck to you, Primal. How's blood today? Intimidation checks, like, change D&D. &D. Are you the, the weeby little butthole? Good try. A little highlight. But I might just set with a black wash.
I am the wee bit of the bad part. Ah, oh, cheesy summer sausage. Yep. It's me when I'm streaming. Get a little crotch level fan. Crotch fan does, doesn't it? I had a little uh, hack for being a streamer over summer, and it was bed bath wipes. You know the ones that they use on a mobile people, right? So you could give yourself a little uh, pat down during stream, right? You know, take some of the heat off your face and all that, your arms and whatever. And then when the cold fan blows on you, it cools you down so well. And you smell of aloe vera. Go. Right, I think that's the colour scheme we're going. I'm going to darken it a little bit with a weather wash, but that is basically the colour scheme. So we need to go back onto the other ones now, make them all match. Picking out every spine, I'm sure won't hurt me and my meow meow. Remember how everybody started these hot tub streams on Twitch, but they started them in the summer. Sorry, not uh, started them in the winter. And people were sat in paddling pools during the winter. And during the summer, everybody just sat there going, I'm very warm. Like, why don't you do that in the winter, uh, in the summer? Like, hot tub, actual hot tubs in the winter. And then bring out your paddling pools in the summer. No, they didn't. They brought them out. They went, I can't have a hot tub in my streaming room, so I got a paddling pool. Some poor women got so warm they had to sit on a cake just to cool down. Which is bandit country. I, they, I, if I had room, if I had room. Yeah, cake sitting was a big phase on Twitch. Thigh balloon popping, that was another one. ASMR, that's always got pretty huge. They tried to ban the booty cams, but they, they didn't really. Heavy tea gets it. No matter what you do, somebody's out there always twerking. Dropping it like it's hot, dropping it like it's hot. living the best life I like how you specify pixie cat not actual pixie what's pixie doing thirsty Stop sitting at weird angles. Come on. Chair needs to be underneath me, not rolling away. Oi, oi, oi. 
Big stretch. Oh, you nasty. Oh, these little tiny spines are not fun to paint. Certainly not on a curved tail. Yeah, that's that one. Still need to do the spines on the two we've already technically done. It's just so much squirrel. Oh god. I've not heard the ding that says it needs me to do something. Give it a minute. If it doesn't come through, I'll have a look. Yep, think you buggered it. Pessis asked um, me, should Mike get a see-through plastic chair from Ikea and replace his Willow camera with a butt camera filming his man parts in short shorts? Wouldn't that be more epic than pinning Vince McMahon in a wrestling match or seeing Stephanie McMahon's boobies for the first time? I don't know what you're talking about with the whole chair and camera thing, but... Let me tell you, nothing, and I mean nothing, beats the thrill of a great wrestling match. It's huge. It's great. It's like winning an election. Everyone said you couldn't win. Epic is what we do best. Let's keep it classy and focused on winning big time. Why? Also, no idea about it. I didn't do that, I don't think. You could uh, fix that. That'd be lovely. Uh, guys, Wayland, uh, one of my affiliates, uh, has 35% of board games this weekend. Interesting. Very interesting. How's the day about her? Welcome to Murder Squirrelville. Ah, well, nobody's complained about it being broken, so don't think uh, any foul. Which one? You've got normally three to complain about, about her.
No, nothing. How many Tadjias did you send? Okay. Is that the one passes? Sergio's uh, timing can be a little off, I'm afraid. Jesus, that sounds like I'm trying to seduce you. Right, sorry, I need to stand up. My knees uh, kind of falling out. Can you roll it back up? Sorry, because I, I, I sit bisexually. Sometimes things just fall out. Criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. I stole your heart. Then pay with your blood. Uh-oh. You're under arrest for being horny on me. It's the horny police reporting for duty. Not the horny police. Good googly moogly. What was my crime officer? Hold me under a breast. <laughs> so when i say i sit bisexually what that means is i don't sit in a chair the intended way uh and it puts a little bit of pressure on my joints there's a running joke that bisexuals can't sit straight and it's not so much a joke as a kind of alluded fact The problem is my body isn't correct about it, so sitting correctly feels uncomfortable for my body. And because I lean to paint, under the table, my legs are like that, resting on my ankles. So occasionally, halfway through the stream, I hear a clunk, and one of my ankles is dislocated. They do have a habit of just falling out. I'm getting kind of tired of it, to be honest. He's out of line, but he's right. There you go. Yep, yep. How very bisexual of you, Miss May. Oh yeah, it's like a common internet thing. My sexuality intensifies. Man, was I using mine wrong? You were using yours wrong, yeah?
All these spines are stressing me out. Um, yes, what I did. Not too much, Brad, not too much. Uh, we've been kind of testing a color scheme. Not fully done, but done enough. So we're now playing catch up with the others. We get our dire squirrels tabletop ready. Absom, hello, my homie, how do you do? I want to get all five of these done by the end of the stream, guys. The TT Combat one can wait. Uh, the Troll can wait. But I want the Squirrels as a collective done. Oh, mate, I'm keeping well. Keeping well. Struggling to find my indomitable work ethic this week. But I may be a bit closer now I've done some more YouTubing. Oh, Chris Cat, how are you doing? Hello, friend, how's the day? This is somebody else who paid, well, who makes friend shaped creatures. Behold the wonderful work of one talented crystal cat. How do you do, friend? What were you up to today? You borrowed it, yes. Thank you for subscribing to Monly Fans. Huzzah! Thank you very kindly. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. We thank you for your patience. Have they changed how Prime subs work? Because I can't find mine anymore. Uh, but yes, welcome in Raiders. My name is Mike Moans. We're making murder squirrels today. Let me just check I've done all the spines. I think we're good. Yep, uh, this is a tester color scheme, which is a little bit more advanced than the others. But this is what we're working on. I love the little steppy it's doing to the side. It brings me a lot of joy. But yes, what did you do today, friend? T number three, and it's only 8.12. Oh, I feel you. Oh, adorable. Well, this is as good a time as any, guys. Uh, we're going to be getting a picture through from Crystal Cat. Uh, no doubt for show and tell. I'm desperate for the bathroom. So what we'll do, we'll take a very quick be right back now, like a lightning quick one. And then we'll have a look at Crystal Cat and we'll have a look at your shows and tales. So if you guys can pop things you've been working on in the Discord, that would be wunderbar. Bazaar. Uh, in about two or three minutes, we'll have a look at what everyone's been working on. So I apologize for taking a beer right back as soon as you get here, Crystal Cat, but bladder doth not wait for no man. So I shall be back in but a moment.
Alrighty, people, let's have a look at the shows and tells. Start with our wonderful raider, Crystal Cat. This is so bang tidy. First of all, I absolutely love the colours, and you're going to have to keep this away from a barter, because a barter will try and steal it. I went to make piss. But yes, do keep this. This is for a baby. Yes, a barter. But you would steal it from a baby. You love purple. And you love new baby smell. So really, you would steal it from a baby. I'm sorry, I, I'm fully convinced. But yes, look at the wonderful works. They will be swaddled in purple wad. While we're here, have a look what Miss Bricko is working on. Behold. Okay, I believe you about her. The second they make a noise. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Bloody lovely! Right, we had some food pawn. Lula's been whapping together some uh, some lovely, lovely, lovely pet lunches. Ah, oh, bourbon creams. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, bloody lovely. Oh, Masubi is a baby bok choy and rice. Oh, why are my pat lunches not like this? Lula, come over. <laughs> I fucking love Shim. This was Shim trying out his uh, Sith guard and heading into Ann Summers, trying on a nice little holster. Nice pawn. Let's have a little look at Lucky Coach. Ooh, oh, I love that. Oh, them nice. Oh, bloody lovely. Very nice.
Oh, I love these. These are gorgeous. Candy! Not candy. But they're candy. Starting off with Brad's airship in the miniature category. Fuck yes. Oh, I need to get my airships. I need them. Need them. More Ifrit from the wonderful Kate Creates. Behold. You've got an airship, Pessis. Just need to post it, which will be pretty soon. Yes. 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 Absent's been working on the Void Dragon, which, like, this is a standard photo studio, guys. It's hecking huge. Hecking huge. You love the metallic blue. But a heckin' huge! No other powerhouse painter! Got this whole crew on the go. I didn't ignore your DMs. I'm putting bits of bobs and marines in your DMs. You sent me a message going, I'll take those bits. I acknowledged it. I don't know if I acknowledged it with you, but I acknowledged it. The cat's got some base airbrushing down. It's looking lovely. I'll be honest with you, I was too overwhelmed to deal with DMs yesterday. My skin was itchy just from how overstimulated I've been recently. I also need to catch up on your beaver. I know you've been sending me quite a lot of beaver. Uh, so I do need to get on with those. But yes, I'm currently being held down. Uh, by a couple of things that are doing my tits in. Uh, things like I need to clear my alcohol tank for my 3D printer. But if I clean the alcohol tank, it's a fucking mission. It's a fucking mission. And I'm like, I don't have the power to do that. Why? Because I need to clean that surface. Okay. How do we clean that surface? I need to go and sort out the recycling. Okay, but the recycling's got out of hand and is out of balance because I can't do this. I have the ADHD job list from hell. And I just need a day off to do it. Like, a real day off. But unfortunately, I don't have one of those for the foreseeable future. So I'm now kind of trying to trick my body into thinking I'm getting a day off. So my current plan, finish stream on time, go for a nap... Wake up, go, it's a new day. I have time to do this. That's the trick I'm trying to pull. It's half working. Actually, what I need is to not live with Captain of the Half Job. The Half Job Hero. But, you know, I digress. Cold Cops Blue! But for this month, we are two commissions of six down painting. And we are, by the end of the stream, one, four, five on brand work. So we're making good headway. We do, we do. That's how I... Got my way through college. Yep, Mike Moans. Kristen Luther, no man, a man, and Pessies. Thank you very much. So, yes. Elix Bricks, hello, my homie. How you do? Uh, so, today's stream, we're finishing off some brand work. 
tomorrow we will probably do the little troll and the squirrel for Rumble Slam, which will take off another brand work. Uh, then I've got to assemble some more thick goblins, which I need to find as I unpack and pack orders. I need to do the alcohol ASAP. I need to pack two or three orders to go out this month coming Monday. I want to paint some Deus Lair. Why am I doing that? I don't highlight those. I'll make you most welcome. You know, I want to support your uh, charity. And, like, I heard that you did like five thousand uh, didgery dollars or dollary dues. I'm not sure which currency you currently use. Would be crazy enough to build a boat out of glass. Damn. Oh, wow. It was in Freedom Box. Bloody hell. Even more impressive. FPC, Hadj B. Welcome in, my homie. I showed my son the Max Mini shop, lost your iPad. Yet another tab permanently added. Good. They're very good. Like, if you are looking for much cheaper, I can't believe they're not Warhammer. It is a very good alternative. But I will remind you, you are dealing with resin, not plastic. So do take the uh, safety precautions and do take the time to scrub the resin. doing pretty well actually my morning was a bit slow but um i got a lot of work done last night uh thank you callers uh one of the things at the moment is this rumble slam video i'm putting out will not be my best video uh it's mike versus sarah so it will be amusing and rebecca's there as well uh but because there's three voices going through one microphone and the phone is trying to adapt lighting i've had to do a lot of like post correction which has taken me forever to do so i've had to manually adjust the colors and do a hell of a lot of audio editing i'm now i've trimmed down the footage and i've trimmed down the audio so that is in a position where it's near published but now i just need to remove the fine tuning the little breaths i need to remove uh the in transitions i need to do the uh, what else do i need to do uh the add-ins the overlays the backgrounds uh audio files for things like crowd cheers booze which i may not do this time as much because rebecca's playing the crowd and she's like hyping it all up um I've got to put in a reference to a game-breaking error that's in the game. But I'm hoping to get an email back about that today. Is that something you need me to do a video on? Would that be a helpful shot, guys? How to treat resin? Right. I'll do a shot for that. That doesn't need to be a full video. Of 
course. Yep. How to do the yawn stretch maneuver on uh, on resin? Right, I'll add that to the list. It's Rumble Slam video, water tutorial. I could slip resin in quite quickly. I've got a D and D. Uh, buy this item, or you're a muppet. Video. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, stupid people. A lot. Jesus fucking Christ. There is a lot. My favourite ones are the ones who message me at 11.30 at night going, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Uh, can you answer these 15 questions while I ignore the answer? You will find out. Yeah, and I get them into my own time. Like, Lula, you're pretty patient with your TikToks, which is surprising. Right, Justy, you need to pipe the fuck down. I'm trying to behave. Stop sending me phone notifications. Do you know what stopped me? Adds true story. Cannot find my tape measure. I think Rebecca helped me put it away after D and D, but I didn't actually see where it went. I do feel like we need to make a document where, like, things that need to remind me on stream that need doing, like, you could all just add to it, you know? I need to verify my YouTube payment, that's one thing. <laughs> Why does it say eat hot dogs without chewing on this list? But well, it needs to be more automated. That's the thing. Like, if you guys put it, it automatically syncs with my phone or something. But I know I'll wake up to like 30 notifications. Take Diglett for a walk. Stop it. Oh, I, I will not put up with ads. Will not. I, I find it very disrespectful to viewers have adverts unless they have a very specific reason uh like i said yesterday somebody enlightened me to the idea that forcing them to take a break you know what understandable and they've made it an element of the stream not like uh, an add-on like what streamer needs to be physically forced to take a break like who does that Like, who's that compulsive? Like, really? Is it me, Jesus? It was me, Jesus. Yeah. 
This is it. As, as passionate nerds, we don't take breaks. Exactly, but really bad cat. Yeah, we don't sit here for like, like honestly. If I didn't have somebody literally like joining me in the office at four o'clock every day or three o'clock every day, I would stream eleven hours a day, and I know I would. How are you, Mattis? Um, I think I had one in my shoulder once. Yes. The Mattis Cutters. Yeah, I literally do just sit with the lambs. So at the moment, on quite a few Saturdays, I go to my local farm and I just sit in the pen with the baby lambs. That is my mental health break currently. I just sit there with the lambs. It's pretty gangster, not going to lie. Oh, fuck yeah. Is that a uh, Medif? Oh no, they probably know. Nice, Mad Cat. Mate, nice job though, like, in total. You see, I'd love to say I'm on the box art of something, but... I have the talent to do it, but I don't have the paint style to do it. Like, I want to be done, 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 next project. I don't think I can actually slow down enough to utilize the talent I have to the level it needs to be done for box art, you know? Nice, Mad Cat, real nice. Man, what would it be like if they respond to emails? Like, maybe I blacklisted. You never know. I need to figure out what we're doing with the uh, new mini game. I would like to try it. Especially after the game we had, where we just looked at each other with defeat. I do want to get my hands on the new fallout models that celebrate the tv show so the annoying thing is i can get them on discount for pre-ordering them but i don't know if the show is going to be any good so i don't know if i want to pre-order them or if i want to just get them after they're out that's like a munchkin cat but for sheep yeah, I don't utilize it though. I don't I literally cannot focus on one project that long. And the other thing is the kind of things I want to do are monsters. I I feel like uh, I, I need this for, for science and self-care. How are you, random?
glad. Um, agree and disagree there, Corvus. Um, I agree we need more casual painting, publishing, model releases. I do agree, 100%. But box art should always be, this is what one person could achieve. And I, I think that makes the overall everything better. The other thing is, with mini painters, especially content creators, if they put on, say, a 6 or 7 out of 10 um, model on the box art, right? They will be inundated with people going, I could do better than that. I'll make a YouTube video where I'm better than that. Look at these mugs. Not a really good company. Look at them. Like, um, the way I see it, Mad Cat, and this is with purely outside information, I don't think they'll be in the core game. But I think there will be, uh, like, either raid boss or certain scenarios where they'll be like, oh, you can include this, but it will be a very specific scenario, not general game. 100% can't win. 100%. As long as I get my super mutants, I'll be happy. I just want my super mutants. Oh, mate, I hope it passes quick, random. I do want to start doing the occasional project where I do focus on pushing my quality level. But I'm not being paid by brands for my quality level. I'm being paid to get content out there at speed passionately and sell it I, i'm not the creator you go to or a, a box art i'm not i know that i've never tried to be too many people in mini painting think the goal is to have the best painted model mine is not mine is to make sure when i play D, &D i can just grab the models i need and they're all done and my universe looks big and colourful. We're connected, Corvus. <laughs> I'm rubbing in. I'm playing in like two weeks. I would be very shocked. Bunny, how you doing? You come here for my squirrels. I imagine, like, the in-game points for things like power armor will be significantly, like, relatively higher. Oh, it won't be cancelled, blood. I'll be playing it if they're not. It's on my birthday. I will sit there on my own, and I will outright play D&D as the DM, against their party, and my encounters will run exactly as intended because it's my birthday. They don't show up. That's their problem. Um, so, basically, I do a lot of Dungeons & Dragons, and the main purpose of this channel was getting my Dungeons & Dragons world painted. And, uh, well, obviously I've taken up games like Rumble Slam and Fallout, so there is a break in the status quo. But these are for my D&D, &D, my wonderful squirrels, dire squirrels, which I love the fact that Dragon Trapper Lodge do silly ideas, but in a really like usable, silly, fun, sensible way. d and is nuts. <sighs> See, you need to start with mind goblins. That's where you need to go. I appreciate that. I really do. 
Um, considering how competitive I am, it is surprising I don't try and outdo some of these painters. Um, but I, I, I know what I bring to the table, and it's not display painting. I have the skills. I do not deny I've got the skills. Like, uh, Instagram's proven that once in a while. But I'll tell you now, and I know this annoys Mad Cat, and I know it'll annoy more of you. I've got nearly half a million views on a model I dry brushed for four hours. Because I knew how to play the game for that miniature. And people will be like, well, I spent eight years working on this. And uh, it, 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 it got four likes on Instagram. Yeah, well, you, I've been there, buddy. But I've got the skills to do things so quickly that if they're not a hit, I wait for the next one. And I think more people need to be aware that winning isn't like goals isn't doing the best miniatures. It's doing what you need them to do. I need quick content and turnover. Bam, fast painting style. I need to get minis on the table for D&D. Bam, fast painting style. I need them to be good on camera at a range of three inches. Bam, big contrast paint style. I really appreciate that, Madcap, because like, you believe it more than I do, clearly. Um, which part of the bit donations, blood? Are you trying to use the uh, sound bot, the standard bitties, or the Pangear? They, they do and my paint style will be looked down on by professional artists in many circles not saying all but certainly in many that like when i do big contrast style and bold colors they're like well your blending's a bit low you know you could have made more no i don't want to do it that way i want it to be big and bold yeah, well, technically it's a bit weak, right? But I, I feel like you're dismissing style here. Yeah, but, you know, fundamentally, it's just not how you paint. No, it's exactly how I paint. Okay, that's a weird one. It's like if you've ever entered a GW paint competition with a non-GW standard, there are occasions where you're just dismissed. Like, to quickly check this. What is this? Okay, no mind. Sorry, getting weird messages through. Because of course I am. Let me let me show you this, for example. Like just so I can walk you guys through my line of thinking. These are models I have a lot of fun doing, but are not technically brilliant. They things I'm passionate about do not get views on Instagram. Odd little things that took me no time at all. 150. Barkleberry, one of my favourite things I've ever painted. No one cares. Snake, which was an afterthought for me. 300 plus. Salacious, a quick half an hour paint job. Wasn't quite half an hour, it's like a three hour paint job, but still. No. I'll be honest with you, I'm basically alternating the same tags over and over again. 
Mittens, this is one of my favourite pieces I've ever done. And that took me no time at all. I love this model. It, it just, the, the palette just clicks with me. These purples, these greys, and these oranges, they just click with me. Like, I would, like, th this just annoys me. Like, I know I'm milking the algorithm, but painting a backpack and a sword does not constitute nearly 750. It angers me to my core. I OTP. Magically, one of my Rumble Slams did pretty well. I have a feeling it's to do with it being both wrestling on the run to WrestleMania and uh, Final Fantasy on the run to Final Fantasy. That was two hours in a Discord hanging out with Mad Cat and Jimmy. All out, so few and far between, it's weird. Like, this one has nearly triple the views of the, well, triple the likes of these. And then, nobody cares about my Super Mutants, but the Axolotl, 140. And then I'm like, cool, T-Rex with big swole arms, he'll be popular. What? He did much better. Like, a little mimic. That took me literally 20 minutes to paint. But it's a mimic. 300. Yeah. I, like, it is... Just look at... Fucking look at this. People would kill for 300 likes on Instagram. I just put some yellow glaze on a clear resin mini. Like, <laughs> Patzel, no one gives a shit. Tanelian, okay. Slimes, very good. Wolaf, Cat Dragons, Rust Monsters. Like, I think this just came out really nice. Really simple paint job. I thought this very bougie picture of my Tembershard Christmas ornament would do well. No. No one cares. This bugbear is one of my favourite models I've ever painted. Is it my best? Probably not, but I really love him. Like, I, I love this model so much. I love bugbears. Like, aesthetically pleasing shots like this from our meet in Birmingham... I thought, yeah, I'll get some Warhammer fans. Nobody gives a shit. This one, on the other hand, people loved. Maybe it's because I've got Merlin in this charm. No worries, buddy. Like, there is no rhyme and reason to end. Look, look at this. Nearly 800. Like, and then things I actually make an effort on. Like, look at this whole table. Look how fun this is. No one gives a shit. Like, my dragon, no one gives a shit. I love him. I love bugbears so much. I had to leave the uh, blueprint. I, cu I couldn't, like, I, c I can't. I can't not publish this. Yeah, only, like, and then you, it's, it, what? So 92, because it's always plus one. On a full dragon, that took me two days to do. And then my pig, which was half an hour, 130 plus. Like, Insta will kill mini painters and all the effort they have. Like, so here's something I wanted to paint to display standard. This did nearly 30, well, over 13 and a half thousand. Like, this is what I say is optimized mic painting. Hello, Blow Me, how do you do? Like, th this is slowing down. This is doing it properly. This was four hours dry brushing. Uh, hang on. Where's the... 
Here you go. Willow gets fuck all. So it's had... Uh, 40, 437,879 plays. It's got 27 near 28,000 likes. It's been favorited 3,000 times. It has reached 400,000 accounts. It has given me... Only 1,000 of my followers have ever seen this post. I have about 2,600. Yet... 400,000 people have seen it. What is this Instagram shit? This is a six minute video, guys. And it's been watched for nearly 700 hours. Sorry, it's a six second video. And it's been watched for nearly 700 hours. It's given me 509 follows. Like... What the fuck? And you know what? Not one of them came to Twitch. Not one of them. So if you ever think that going viral is going to change your social media platform, it's not. That model, Jag, is part of my miniatures line, which will be coming semi-soon. Uh, I've had to completely restructure the Moansverse. Uh, model line. Because uh, shit went sideways quite astronomically. Um, what it was, basically, Jack, uh, over summer last year, I, for three months straight, I didn't make more than thirty pounds profit as a business. Uh, Cause summer's dead on Twitch. So th this is why Patreon is really important, guys. Like Jesus Christ, I would have been homeless without Patreon. Is it the other one? It seems to be. Go out for a cider, mate. Treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's the other one. Yeah. I think it be right fucked. What is going on with Stream Raiders? Right. I think we'll have to just let that set for a minute. Oh, Jesus! What? What are you looking back here? Okay, my game is completely fucked. Okay, I'm going to have to close Stream Raiders and do a full reboot. Might just let it set for a bit, actually. We'll leave it for 20 minutes. Because if I can't use it, no one can. A little bit of blue liner. Alrighty, buddy. I'm fucking flashbanged. In my own stream.
I'm using a bit of blue liner here just to blend these lines together. It's very bright for blue liner. Spontaneous orgy. Maybe I should have used a grey liner, but the blue is quite nice. Banged in the UK means getting taken out like a fight. It also does mean, you know, banging your girlfriend, but also get banged is to like attack someone in the street or to be attacked. That's done it. Big denim energy. These are very fashionable squirrels. in saying that bang just means with impact so it would actually make sense percussive force basically Go right. We'll do a little bit in the mouth. Mix some burgundy wine up. To be fair, we came, we saw, we conquered. Then we gave it all back. And we didn't really learn too much from it. Uh, will be very shortly. I'm just doing a little bit in the mouth. Yeah, that's what I expect. Yeah. 
This one's got a hand in the mouth. I also need to go back and do some eyes. And just make sure they're all base layered. So, the eye colour of a squirrel. Now, these are dire squirrels, so I want them to look like predators. So I'm thinking of doing them yellow like a cat. As opposed to a traditional squirrel. Well, the problem is the main model's red. So, shave the socket black. And hope we get it done before Pessis's bot kicks in. We've already done some of them. Wrap that then dry. We'll do some flash tones. Do a little bit in the air. Then realise they've got spikes on the end of their ears, so I'm going to have to do some more spikes. Oh. Mate, treat yourself. You're not going to regret it. Even a pro painter should be trying them. Number one, just to learn to explain painting better. That's one thing. Number two, the paints are still amazing quality if you're a senior painter or a junior painter. Pessis asked me, um, can a German person say a killer squirrel? If so, how funny would it be? Funnier than a big girl trying to get onto a, a raised pickup truck? Uh, oh man, hearing a German say a killer squirrel um could be comedy gold especially with that accent i mean picturing that scene is like seeing a unicorn at a barbecue now comparing that to a big girl wrestling with a raised pickup uh that's a tough crowd but comedy's in the unexpected right so uh, i'd say it's neck and neck but uh the squirrel might just edge it out with the accent factor well that was unexpected I get a southern girl to say tutti frutti. It's pretty fun. Nice try. In the fucking zone. Free, free. Squirt cream's hilarious on a scouser.
I take a flash highlight. Ah, oh, curly whirly, that gets him. Curly whirly. Fucking love a curly whirly. Lola, do I need to pick you up a curly whirly? The answer is yes. Luna, don't forget we can just post your home some stuff. Hello, Camp German for me is more canon than Angry German. We love Lego. We like to move into the Harry Housen. I don't like to set normal goals, blood. I like to go for big deluxe goals. Little squirrely guy needs his nails done. One of the problems is after seeing that Al Murray's happy hour sketch. With John Barrowman. I can't show it off on stream, guys. But it's related to a negative part of German history. But it's so funny. Spotty is tell you more in. I'll be honest, this layer feels pointless. Actually, no, it's not for the teeth. 
Is it Tuesday or Wednesday today, guys? Tuesday, isn't it? No X-Men. Rest well, adventurer. Right, I believe you, mate. I really couldn't get into Shogun. I did, I think it was three episodes. Well, we have to verify everything random says. It's so random. It's Tuesday, and it mate. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Did, did I come out to Manchester then? Did, did my mank slip out? I, I knew you would. <laughs> it's not a meme if it's true. It's a way of life. At least I'm not the gap yar guy. That's when I really renounce life. When I start going gap yar. Mate, I had one this morning. Fucking banging. <laughs> I just Manchestered again, didn't I? Should be called Mike Chester at this point. <laughs> I forgot about that quote. They sold out of Manchester tarts just before I got to the farm shop this week. My day was ruined and my sadness is immeasurable. However, I did pick up an orange tart and that shit was... Fucking gorgeous. Uh, yes, we measure it in cream eggs. Oh, we had a couple of bombing attempts, random. That changed some things. We got a new next because of it. I'm four fistfuls of mozzarella sad. This is definitely a four cups of tea coping situation. Little aged bone. You're never too old for it. Oh, that's what got me angry last night. Watching Chicago MD, right? Chicago MD aired in 2016, season one, right? House aired 2000 and was it four to about 2018? No, a bit before that, 2016, right? Why are they copying storylines? They've literally stolen so many cop so many storylines from House. Anyway. Man shouts at Cloud. It was not Lupus. 
They were like, oh, there's one guy giving everyone gonorrhea in the old lady home. And it's like, that was a story in the house, and it was syphilis. And they're like, but why are you still boning when you're very, very old? Dear, we, we, we just want to be happy, and we like commitment. That man spent a lifetime learning to please women. I don't think you understand the value in that. And it was just like, yes, there is a massive STD epidemic in nursing homes or in elderly homes. We've known this forever. But you didn't have to write exactly the same storyline and change syphilis to gonorrhea. Literally, the whole story played out the same way. There is a woman who's come in with suspected symptoms and her friends come in. How can they all be having the same problem? Then Mr. Big Dick Gangster Romancing Wizard rolls in, going, hey, they call me Charlie, or Long-Legged Mac Daddy, or some variation on that. And then the two women leave, holding an arm each. Same story. Same story. Every single time. No, no, my future's bright. Like, I have no problem with that. It is literally, they word for word did the same story, except changed which STD it was. That's the bit that annoyed me. They could have done a variation on a theme, but no. They basically ran the exact same thing, almost moment for moment. And then they did it again with the child, so uh, the child sociopath. Just exactly the same. Yes, boss. Over his nails now. But, oh my god, it did my nut in. Uh, literally, it was like, you're a brand new show. This is your first season. Why are you stealing storylines? Word for word. I like medical dramas. They help me unwind. Yeah, I'm in a timeout now, apparently. Everybody should be watching House Clips. It's one of the best shows ever made, and I'll double down on that. Ah, yes, I remember when they introduced Klingons. Until it is. They had one episode where they went the whole time, no, it can't be Lupus, and one episode it was Lupus. So I just started Chicago Fire. My dad wasn't a fan of it, so he kind of put that on hold. So I started watching Chicago Med, which is much better than Chicago Fire. The difference is Chicago Fire has much more baby oil. Not for me, I mean on the cast. I don't ask you what kind of parties you go to. Although, from your excitement of lunchboxes, I'm assuming it's Tupperware parties. Also a valid fact. Was the answer Tupperware parties?
Oh, apologies. Jesus, spot the old ladies in the room. Hello, dearie. Have you tried the new crockery? My boy Norman's been up to it again. Definitely need to top up behind the ears. I'm actually in the new market for a big crock pot. I cracked me crock. Maybe that's how you and Barter became friends. You were going out looking for crock pots, and she's got old lady here. She goes, Crocs! I love crocs! I don't know. Fucking crocs. Best single people footwear. Longer burger baskets. This is why I don't get fat fancy pat lunches. Wow. You know, you might be onto something there. I'm invincible, it ain't gonna bring me down. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Oh god, oh god, they're so hideous. I'd wear them as a shirt, but oh, they're hideous. Oh god. It Ah, uh, it's like putting shit on sugar, or sugar on shit. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Alright guys, just gotta do the uh, stream plugs. If you're not a subscriber on the YouTube yet, I would bloody love it. We are like 148 people off being monetized on YouTube. It would mean the world to me. We do have new content coming very soon. It's been reloaded. I've done it. Look, it's all ready to go. Look, all ready. Already sorted it. Right, look, it's already done. Right, right. What was the other thing? Uh... Yeah, follow the YouTube, help me get monetized, super appreciate it. The other one is, don't forget, this month is triple entries to the monthly giveaway if you are on my Monely fans. If you support the channel on Patreon, it is cheaper for you to subscribe than Twitch, and it would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, so, yes, uh, please do, if you are looking to financially support the channel, uh, make it Patreon. It is, like, 15 times more helpful. For £3 you get three entries to win a fully painted Tiamat model. I cannot stress enough how good this month is for the Monely fans. So if you've not seen this mini, open it up, sign up to Monely fans. If you want bonus entries, you can gift subs. And you also get entries for YouTube memberships as well and gifting YouTube memberships. Oh, 
is it half broke? Ah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah, because the apostrophe in Maldrakar. Right, I'll have to make a tiny. But yeah, if you've not seen it, guys, it is this one. It is a $400, 13-inch tall miniature. It is fucking huge. Fully painted Tiamat-esque miniature. Big Draco Hydra. Limited edition, $400. Jesus, spottiest. Rub it in. Thank you. I'll have to update the bot after stream. Got so many little jobs to do. I like the fact that this one's like stopped, like something's wrong. I can't believe you're still calling them your sister after that, to be honest. Thank you, Matter. Storm's kicking up again, Jesus. Bit of underwash. Dull the skull. Heckin' windy. My friend, right, this is genuinely true, and I won't embarrass them out loud, but uh, she said to me the other day, you, you know, some days, Mike, I just feel the world's against me, people don't like me, and they're only putting up with me. And I messaged them back going, woman, I let you in my house wearing Crocs. I thought that was all the argument I needed. Just doing a little top up behind the ears because some of them didn't get the best dry brush. Hey, hey. If you want me to prove I care, right, and it, it's almost unconditional, right, I let you in my house wearing Crocs. Take the compliment. I know, I know. It's like exposing myself to a rare and exotic disease. I don't want to say I'm a hero, but words like that have been thrown around. I appreciate their friendship and I want them to do really well, but 
I am not fucking lowering myself, Lula. I nearly said leave him in the car, but I was like, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. It was a moment of need, you know? And it was like four inches of snow. The worst part is they had the furry lining, but they reminded me of Ugg boots as well. So I had veins like popping in my eyes. Like a, a, the bastard child of slut wellies and crocs. Yep, yep, the true enemy, Pessus. Just call them what they say, chronic depression. Let's not mince our words here. If you combine the word Crocs with Ugg boots, you get cry for help. Call the skills I could uh, dig baddie. Thank you very much. The worst part was shopping for holiday wear. It was like, hey, do you want to wear Croc slide on flip flops? I'm like, I will load up another website. I don't discriminate against much in life, but people in Crocs. Like waving red to a bull. Lula goes there to corrupt the youth with plastic crack. Psst. You want some space marines, Jimmy? Me and Mike's eye to eye on just two things. Midget adult film fandom yep. and hatred of Crocs. Yep, I love playing Spin the Midget. Right. Well, let me paste. Good question. Where is my paste? There's my Right, I'm a bit concerned that the rocky bases for these look a bit too much like the the carapace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, give it a wash of brown green, then pick out the tufty bits later. So we need a broken brush. It just knows better. Um, I really like you, Grant, but I think it's a slippery slope. For example, the other argument is why don't gay and trans actors get the roles of gay and trans people? First of all, it is acting. You are supposed to pretend you are not, you are something you're not for the role. I get that. However, you cannot pretend to be a midget without a significant amount of digital CGI tomfoolery, Tom fuckery. Um, I do believe Umpalumpas should be played by people of diminutive height. I think that's the less offensive term. Um, but yeah. Um, we need to keep the Shetland person roles for the Shetland people. Lord of the Rings, they, they weren't like massively small people. They were like young teenagers size for the halflings. So false perspective actually had the body ratios right. But I don't know, it's a very slippery slope. You, you can't win the argument, but I, I do think there is a strong argument for, hey, 
There's a limited number of roles for these actors. It would be good if we actually let them do those roles. Uh, and I'm not so much talking about Hugh Grant and the Umpa Lumpers, because the Umpa Lumpers are a little bit flexible. But the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Why were they not dwarves? The other problem is if you start arguing too much, you get the make it gay and put a chicken in it. Make it gay and lame crowd show up. The linguini, I said make it gay, put a chicken in it. It is. It is. We'll go with Shetland person. Yeah, that, that was something that caught me off guard with that. The Lord of the Rings is a cinematic masterpiece. Like, they did such clever tr camera work, storytelling, scripting. Ooh. Ooh, shots fired. Have we see what they're doing with the silver surfer. This one baffles me. Um, the Silver Surfer's being played by a woman. And it's a very clever ploy what they've done, actually. Uh, they've, they've, they've cast the Silver Surfer as a woman and they've gone, <laughs> aren't we clever? Because what then happens is, word gets out that there is actually two female Silver Surfers in the comics. And then they go, it's not woke, it's comic accurate. Yeah, but it's an Elseworlds derivative, far and away, one mini appearance character that was just to show how this world is the opposite of the 616 current comic universe. That's it. So people are now making an attack going, all these people are going to be going, ah, why are they a woman? But it's actually exactly how it is in the comics. And it's now creating a really weird war between the nerds who already knew and the Wikipedia crowd. Not that I have a particular side of the fence, but um, what a weird derivative argument. Just, I, I just don't see why you would like you. You've got Silver Surfer, who is a big naked silver man, showing up from the very first appearance of Big Naked Silver Man. Um, why would you not use that one, which is recognisable? Because they had one hell of an animated series, which was massively underappreciated. Even in the opening credits of X-Men in Marvel Animation, they appreciate him. 
why would you sidestep him for the one that is less than like 0.1% of all recognizable storyline and uh, branding of the Silver Surfer? Like that that's what I don't understand. Like it would be like going, we've cashed Batman, which one? Damian Wayne. Right, eh. Oh, I can't remember, but Pedro Pascal is uh fantastic. Oh, did you mean casting or did you mean uh character? I don't need to go into the representation argument for a millionth time, but there is positive and there is pandering. Um, positive representation is going, we need a strong female character. Why don't we put Rogue in a film? Then there's pandering going, we need a positive female character. Why don't we put this man in a film and then go, but it's a woman. Because that will make people happy and tick a box. That's the difference. I really like it when they do a good character. I generally don't give a shit what parts they have. But I, I just don't see why you would. I, I, it, it doesn't make sense. One of the things I think they've done really well with things like Spider-Verse movies is they they did do a really good introduction to a lot of characters nobody cared about. Yeah, but for me, the most exciting thing about the Silver Surfer is like, holy shit, they're bringing Galactus into the Marvel Universe. One of the things that people kind of forget is Silver Surfer is just a character to introduce another character. That's all he is. Oh, don't get me wrong. They're not awfully written. They're not like completely disregarding. But 99% of his appearances are purely to go, hey, there's a bigger fish coming. Like, yeah. The other thing is, I just don't need another origin film. I'm very tired of origin films. Like, if we have to go through the Fantastic Four getting their powers again with some other portal in the sky again, like, it's a bit tiresome. Like, I think at this point in Marvel, we can go, this hero exists. And we go, okay. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Right. Um, to be fair, though, they did skip the origin in this one, about uh, You're not wrong, though. Yeah. In fact, they've skipped the origin in the Spider-Verse and in the... Uh, Avalans. It is genuinely a lot more impressive knowing they did. I think the big one, and uh, we, we all need to be worried about this, is what the fuck are they doing to Craven the Hunter? Greetings. Hello, hello. How do? How do? 
Welcome, my Humblewood friends. How do you do today? Are you well? They, they did show it, but it was like a very tiny portion of the overall thing. How are you, Corsairs Cove? What were you up to today, my homies? We've been very busy in the moment zone. We've been doing a pack of dire squirrels. Because, you know. Murder squirrels are our friends. And they they do have... Uh, the command should work on the YouTube side as well, Abata. If you try putting it in there. Uh, yeah, murder squirrels. Dire squirrels for D&D. These are from Dragon Trapper Lodge, guys. And they've got ones that do a big steppy. You've got big leapy ones. Got murder squirrels again. I just love them. I think they're really neat. Uh, I've just put some basing texture down, so it's going to need a little bit of time to dry. But behold... Boulder's Gate, you finally found them. That was my second playthrough. Oh, how I have not forgiven them for putting in such a good character so late in the game. Like, there's so many interactions that I would love to have seen. Could they not have done it in late Act 2 and not in late Act 3? Like, even early Act 3 would have made me better. They would. Who would ride one like a fine beast? Yeah. Also, Matt Mercer, on point, doing the voice. Absolutely on point. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of cut content. Definitely. But 3 wasn't ready at the time of release. Anybody who played through Act 3 in the first kind of week, or two weeks, uh, it did kind of fail down. Yeah... Uh, but yeah, the character's bloody fantastic. Have I ever shown you my giant space hamsters? It was a lot um, less buggy when I did it on my second playthrough. I saw you doing a bit last night, getting overwhelmed by greater zombies, Apollos. Uh, the other thing we've got is we've got Squirrel for our Rumble Sam game, who likes to throw dice. And we've got this weird little troll creature who I just kind of fell in love with. I uh, just kind of, kind of dig him. So I think we're going to do work on that now. Uh, but yeah, I I do really like Pink's Gimbo. I do. Just don't feel they get the love and respect. And it's not just in the game. Like people have been making busts of like Shadow Heart, Karlak, all that. But Pink's Gimbo has got fuck all. I do love the Nurse House. That's an encounter I would have loved to have run at my table. Be squirrel, not squirrel. Where'd be hamster? It must be hamster. Yeah, I cannot find me hamster. Where is the pot yet? Fuck knows. There's too many models in this house. Not even got to my owlbear riders yet. Might prime my talisman today, actually. I am a little bit keen to get them done. In fact, while we're here, let's do a gap fill on this. It's just a little hard coat. <laughs> my mother was not a hamster. She was Big Bird from uh, Sesame Street. I have you know. Jack, do you want to see? There's a little gap fill on my Captain Louie. Just noticed he's uh, missing a little. Captain Louie, people. Um, I can do. I don't know when we'd get 12 hours to play. Indeed it is. Indeed, look at him. Sexy pants that have no holes in. 
Alright, what else we got? Owl bag, owl bag. One, two, So this is a project I did and then put on the shelf. I feel like there should be like six of them. But I've only got these to hand. There's my barbecue pit. I've not got more of these. I feel like I own two more, but I just can't see them right. Try these other shelves. We've still not finished our hook horrors. Right, I'm stood up. Okay, I'm making the effort. Jeez Louise, how did I get so many models? my Pokemon ones. There's my Jack Black Mermaid. You need priming. You need priming. Okay. I'll take you out because I want to paint you this week. Uh, you need priming. You need priming. Oh, sorry, all the Rumble Slam could come out. They all need priming. These all need priming. You need to be converted into a flamingo. You can wait. What else we got? Uh, we've got the Yetis from... Uh, oh, Lordy! Another... Quick! Do this job! Big Bison! That needs priming. That's on the to-do list. Ah. Quick. And Randy the Ram. They need. They need doing. Nope. Ah. Mudgeon Realms, welcome back. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to the Moan Zone. I do hope you're well. How was the day? How was did everything? It's Larry. Salama. Hello. Hello. How do you do? Are we all well? Um, I don't have a plastic crack problem. Who has a plastic crack problem? Are we well? We've been painting dire squirrels today. You know, for when you need happy murder. You may have muted your tab while you were streaming. We were just showing off some of our plastic crack. That's definitely not a problematic amount of plastic crack. Definitely not. Why would it be a problematic amount of plastic crack? Those primed. But yes, welcome in Raiders. My name is Mike Moans, mini painter, Manchester, England. Some of you will know the drill. Uh, welcome in. What well, today we were doing our wonderful dial dire squirrels. I'm doing really well. How's your trip? Are you all back settled in, ready to roar, or are you still playing away? Dire squirrels. So yes, yeah, that's a little thing we've been working on. We got really into a game called Rumble Slam, which is uh, fancy pro wrestling. And uh, we're kind of just going through some of the models I've got in the background I've been meaning to work on. So some things just need priming. Uh, some things need a little bit more love. Uh, like we've got some Rumble Slam models. Fantasy Pro Wrestlers. Uh, we've got this lovely halfling barmaid that needs a bit of love. Yes, yes. Random bumps. Oh, dare I ask? We've got Bison here. Who I need to sand down. I love his little tongue. Just clear out his own nose. Might do that tomorrow, actually, because he's a quick, easy model. Uh, fantastic talk. More 
Fantasy Pro Wrestlers, The Naturalist, who is totally based on Ric Flair. All of these, but yes, what were you doing today? Tell me all your secrets. We've got Kroot, the Lizard Man. Uh, I've got some Deus Layer, which is a D&D Kickstarter Yetis, which I may get done. Well, that's quite the difference. Kel, how you do? Look, they hold hands. Passionate lovers. Um, yeah, the Deus Layer Kickstarter was absolutely insane value. Insane. We've got more of our Carnivale Rumble Slam team. We'll get to them one day. They need priming, though. Uh, more Carnivale Rumble Slams, the wrestling midgets. Sorry. Yeah, they actually called that in the game. That's their official card name. But the halflings, basically. Um, we, we've got Traffic Tom. I don't know what his benefits are. But he's got tiny shorts and waving batons. Oh my god, you have no idea how bad it's got. Um, I have about six, three feet by four feet by six feet tall pile in the hallway of new minis. That doesn't include my 3D printer and that doesn't include stuff I already own and haven't got to. Uh, this is Randy the Ram. We need to get him primed. Uh, Yetis are all over there as well. We've got Triple D and Phage. It's not all day as liar. That's it's just that's the problem. But yeah, we're just kind of winding down at the end of the stream. We've got to show off my bugbear riders. So these are 3D prints. I love them. They're bugbears on owl bears, so I can now effectively advertise my hot bear action. They're great, aren't they? No idea when I'm going to get round to them. Uh, but these are in my D and D game. And I think they're not in till Island 3 and they're, sorry, Island 4. And they're currently on Island 1 and it's been a year. What else have I got? I've got Appa that needs to be painted. I've got Snow Trolls that need to be painted. In fact, let's get the Snow Trolls out. Because I could paint the snow trolls at the same time as the Yeti. Because they're all getting the same colour scheme. So these are my snow trolls. I just think they're neat. A little bit of teeth to remove there. There you go. They are. They are bloody massive and they are bloody strong. Uh, and I love them. Look at that cleaver. So it looks like today's job is going to be a massive amount of priming. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're going to paint uh, tomorrow. This little troll. Uh so we're going to paint him. Probably going to paint him at the same time. Get both of these done. That will be tomorrow's job. I also have a dire ferret I need to do as well. Uh, so it's going to be quite busy here in the Moan Zone. Randall, hello. How do you do? Are you well? Oh, you big flirt. Gannon, how you do? Thank you very kindly. Uh, let's get started on that little baby troll while we're doing this. I need to sand this first, actually. No, you're not Mr. Dire Ferret. 
Dire Ferret's uh, still on the prime table. It needs one more coat. But are you well today, Karen? Oh, that's a lot tidier than it was. Got a little bit more to do here. Well, I came off easy. That's actually a bad sign. The other thing we've got to do, guys, is paint our wrestling ring. We've got our uh, Griffcon, sorry, Griffin Gaming themed wrestling ring as well. So we've got quite a lot to do. Yeah. I also need to uh, put the Royal Rumble in my screen. Well, yeah. Uh, so much to do. So much as a content creator. So much as a mini painter. I've still got commissions that need doing. Uh, I need to dig them out of the 3D printing pile and actually get them onto the workbench. Uh, I'd coat. But we're now down one brand work and two commissions for the month so we got another commission to do two commissions three commissions to do and one more brand work so i want to finish the brand work tomorrow by doing that little troll just getting started for the day sounds great my friend Oh no. Oh no, my money's. Oh no. Guys, if your wallet is afraid of things, please put it away now. Put it in a quiet corner. Moonbeam, Gilzak, and Mark. Thank you very much. Where nobody can affect it. Put it in a place of hiding and sanctuary. Handcuff yourself to the sink so you can't be tempted. We start stream raiders, then I'm going to have to show you. Maybe, a little bit, kind of, tiny bit, yes. The spirit realm is never far. They, they are always watching. Our hopes and dreams give them life, but so does our darkness. My mother used to say that spirits were drawn to me like moths to a flame, urging me to be mindful of my emotions. I wish I had listened. Perhaps she would still be here. I spent years in self-imposed exile. Seeking refuge in silence and distance. An emotionless, hollow shell. Lest I attract my nightmares again. No more. I'm done running. And I am not fighting alone. Each of us has a reason to be here. Don't let anger guide your blades. And we'll only make it stronger. Hope will be your shield. 
Valor will light the path to victory. Let's show that spirit what we're made of. The spirit realm is never far. And now, I'm the one who's watching. Okay. So, there's this. Lamb to sneeze. Okay. This has just gone live. From Dragon Trap Lodge. Same people who've done this. Uh, early bird reward is this thing. Uh, free miniature for physical tier pledges in the first 48 hours. 50 spirit creatures, 30 boons and banes, 7 subclasses and species. Uh, new class, the Conduit. 3 spirit realm adventures, 10 spiritual environments. Resonance mechanic, premium miniatures, 3 encounters maps, and a spirit realm soundtrack. It's got the guy who did Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount. It's got all these pretty stuff. And this is where I got distracted. And I started going, ooh. Ooh. Uh, these maps are gorgeous. Welcome back, Baron. Ignore the prices. We'll only cry. The resonance system. Channel your character's emotion to affect ethereal adversaries and allies. This is a fear spirit. You can stifle them. Changes its stat block. Oh, that'd be fun as a DM. Ooh. Maybe. Use with spirits to strengthen your body and unlock mystical powers. With the new Conduit class, stand on the front line, support your allies with a tuned spirit boss. Punish foes that dare attack you with spirit lash. Harvest the raw power sympathy, which lets you protect people. Spirit bound subclasses. Oath of Eminence Paladin. Even in violence, compassion will be my guide. Uh, Cernomancy. The mist remembers everything. Wraith Rogue. Interesting. You get a full adventure with this adorable character. You can get a PDF file. You can get a book. Get the soundtrack. I wonder if the soundtrack's copyright and RPG claimant free. Because if streamers are going to use this, then uh, it could be a problem. Digital Deluxe. PDF, build notes, digital account maps, STL files, foundry module, digital asset pack, soundtrack. Core box includes all the minis. Right, I want a closer look at the minis. Deluxe box. Rage Titan. Oh. I kind of hope we get a better look at these. Art prints. Nice. Doesn't really benefit anyone on the digital tier. We do like more boons and banes. I do want the STL. I do want the... I want it all, man. Oh! No AI policy. Love that. Right. I'll put a link in chat.
it's a bit sex, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Baron. I may have made man pudding. Uh, oh, what time do you call this? No, don't click on the mouse and change it back. Oh my god, Willow, you're causing me dramas, girl. Hello? What are we doing? Huh? It's showing up right at the end. What, we, what, t what time do you call this? Outrageous, Willow. Outrageous. You were supposed to be here on time. Collect your dreamies in the morning. I'm supposed to haul you out to the internet. What is this? What, what time do you call this? Uh, uh, Missy, I'm telling you off. What time? What, what, what is this? Uh, why? Why you do this? All day I've been without you. You know you're a key part of this channel. I'd have had much more followers today if it wasn't for you. Missing. Bloody cats. I swear to God, there is no way you could ever program a cat. Rather work with children. Anyway, cat do as cat do, you're not wrong. Right, uh, guys, we're gonna go on a raid today. So, thank you everyone for joining us, except Willow, who didn't show up. I need to get tomorrow's stream prepped. We have a lot of new models that need priming and readying and all sorts. Guys, we're Raidy Chiefy. Uh, you might recognise what they're working on. I hope you do. Will you please prepare your best Raid emotes? Chiefy is a new friend of the channel. They are doing me a heckin' solid. Uh, I would... She's a house cat. Entirely a house cat. Uh, as a Siamese, she's smaller than other cats, so we do get worried about her being bullied. We also live next to a school, which means we can't control what they feed her and do to her and things like that. So, uh, for my peace of mind and for her comfort and safety, she is a house cat. Uh, guys, prepare your best raid emotes except that one. Uh, any other one, literally any other. I don't care if it doesn't even say raid, just any other emote. Uh, guys, we're raiding into Chiefy. Send them all the love. Bring the big dick energy from the moon zone. Love you muchly. See you tomorrow. Bye, homies.